no matter where you are, I will look for you. I still have things to do, oh, but when I'm done, when I'm done, I will be with you, and then we will be forever. Dirty homeless boy on the streets, pants are covered in your own pee. You're my beautiful homeless boy, homeless boy, homeless boy. Ooh. Ooh. Dirty homeless boy. Walking around, looking in trash cans for something to eat. What is the food? Recycling cans. No matter where you are, you're my homeless boy. But you're my homeless man. And I don't care. You're so strong. The way you carry all of those aluminum cans on your back You got a stick for whacking other homeless people with And I don't care Dirty little stinky PPG Homeless boy of my own dreams Yeah And your tears flow like the sea Your clothes are covered in pee And I still don't care You've been drunk every time we've kissed But I miss it more and more and more You're homeless and walk through my door you can't Dirty live here again. My homeless boy doesn't have a roof. My homeless boy only has one tooth. My homeless boy is my homeless man. Love him so. I don't care. Dirty homeless man. You think you could ever date a homeless girl? Yes. Like, no, talk about like legit fucking homeless, like homeless as fuck. Yes. Just depends on how our connection. Like, no. Look, all right. Let me, let me do it like this. You're walking down the street one day and you see just like this, this person rummaging through garbage, right? Right. And she's hot and she looks like... No, but you don't know Rebecca she's hot Romain, yet. Rebecca Romaine Stamos. You, you don't know she's hot yet because you only see her dirty butt in the dirty trash. Right. Right? And then you're like, what's the first thing going through your mind when you see a dirty person going through trash? You're sad. Right. Right? But as soon as she turns around, she's fucking stunning. Yeah. Just fucking hot as yeah. fuck. Yeah. Hot as shit. Fucking fuck. The first thing I think actually is, hey man, I hope you I hope you get something in there. Yeah. That's my first thing. Yeah, that's like the homeless like lottery. I'm just like, hey man, I hope you get something. It's like a homeless mystery box. Also, I've never been afraid to be like, hey man, I, if I have extra money on me, then I got you. Oh yeah. I'm the same way, dude. Split I the I, check, I always give money. I always yeah, split the check with a homeless person. Yeah. Um but then she turns around and 
you're like, oh my god, she's gorgeous. Does the fact that she was just throwing, going through garbage, throwing things around in there, just rummaging for for stuff? I mean, I'm, does that leave your that, mind? I mean, I'm, that's definitely a worrisome part for sure. I'm gonna hope that she's not like you know has a really fucked up life and is into drugs because I don't wish it on anybody. But. No, no, no. We're not even that deep. We're not even that deep. Just on looks alone, are you going to completely forget that this girl is just going through garbage? Yeah, I think it's just the. I think it's just the the like. To be honest, like, I think it's just still that primitive piece of shit man inside of me. I think that it's just like man, huge tots has fucking old sour cream cheese that someone left in the garbage on her fucking tits. It's hot, <laughs> it's super sexy. Because yo, here's the thing, right? With permission, of course. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think I would too. I think I would completely forget that she was a homeless right, queen. But I could date somebody that's not mega hot. They don't have to be. I mean, they can be hot in their own ways to me. But like, that's the thing. If if she, but but I also see hot. And I'm like, damn, that's a hot ass chick. Yeah, for sure. Like you're gonna admire it. But yo, being homeless, that is a stunning is lady. lady. Yeah, but, stunning homeless lady. But being being a lady who's super hot and homeless, that's it's got to raise some red flags. Well, I would. You're hope- not going to bring her home. She's dirty, disgusting, gross. But the only thing clean on her is just this beautiful face. Well, first off, I'm a lady. No one's coming home on the first night. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And second, uh, I mean, I would just like, I would definitely be like, damn, this girl's hot. And then if it goes okay and the talk is cool and she's not like, hey, man, like, you know, do you have fucking shit on you or something like that? No, she doesn't ask weird. you for any money. She's like, hey. And she like brushes her hair behind her ear, but it's full of like fish bones. And I grease. mean, I would definitely think a lot of things I'd worry about. Maybe like, yeah, I'd be like, hey, I hope this person's okay. Like, what the fuck? If she's just like struggling though. See, that's the thing. You got to get to know them. You got to figure out, hey, why are you rummaging through this trash? Maybe she had a really bad two months. Maybe she invested all her money into fucking Doge and it crashed <laughs> terribly. And then she had no more fucking Doge money. All right. So let me ask you this. How long, if she was homeless for like three years, are you still going to let her smash? I feel like there's so many different ways that someone could be homeless. Like, I met a homeless guy in Canada, which I know is so random, but I met a homeless guy in Montreal, and his story was crazy. He was just stuck there. He's from America. And, like, sometimes you just got to find out who they are and what the fuck it is that they probably went through. Like, maybe they did have a period where they did something you know but you're saying if she didn't and everything was fine would i take her home like the first i don't know i'd have to know like i'd be like okay like maybe we go on a date she doesn't have to shower or anything i'll just you know take her as her but at some point there's gonna be the question that comes up and goes hey why are you homeless (laughs) (laughs) that would be a great first like you maybe not on the first date maybe second date you're kind of just like hey so what's up with like the like uh, i found you in garbage yeah yeah can we go back to that you're stunning by the way why are you in garbage you're gorgeous but you were in the garbage when i met you yeah yeah how long while you're homeless do you have to go until you're gonna be a trash boy oh my god how long do i probably immediately you think you, you go straight to the trash? Well, because those are clearly the only way of sustenance if you don't have money. Like, where else am I going to... Like, it's either that or I got to kill a rat on the subway. Yeah. Also, what? I'd go straight to the city. You can't... Start. Actually, I don't know. Dude, the city's suburban, cold, dude. There, we had suburban homeless people in this town. Yeah, but they, they were they like seem legends. To be living the life. Yeah, they are legends. If you're going to They all be, had nicknames and shit, too. There's two places you want to be homeless. California and Florida because of the weather, right? Right. Right. And then if you also got to be homeless anywhere, go be homeless in a really nice, Dude, small suburban true. white town. If I know I'm about to be homeless, you're right. I got to move straight to the good weather. I yeah, you get that. Because, dude, you, you, being homeless in New York, way different than being homeless in Florida. People freeze to death every year, sadly. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. You know? I mean, there's like in, in cities Which where there's a sucks. Sh- in the cities where there's a shit ton of homeless people, though. Like, bro, when I went to Washington, D.C., uh, it was crazy. There were like flocks of homeless dudes. I'm going to DC next weekend, so that's good to know. Oh yeah. Well, that was this is a long time ago. Yeah, by yeah, the way, yeah. So, by the way, go to the Spy Museum in DC. It's fucking awesome. The Spy Museum? Yeah, it's fucking sick. You learn about like this baseball player who was actually a spy for another fucking country and shit. No way. Yeah, I think he was a professional baseball player. Yeah. So this guy got so good at baseball. This, this guy was, had to get really good at baseball and really good at being a spy. I Jesus. Think, I think he either was already n- nasty at ball and just a side thing, or either either way. What a fucking life. Yeah, dude. This, this guy, guy hits fucking dingers and then he fucking goes and fucking finds out what the fucking prime minister of whatever is fucking up to. You know what I mean? At this the end of the fucking day. Guy hits like two doubles, has three RBIs, and yeah. then like 
takes yeah. down fucking Richard Nixon. Yeah, and he's got like a fucking microphone in one of his cleats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy. That, that's another thing that I would I would never I would be a terrible spy. Oh, I would be so nervous and anxious all the time. Yeah, you can't have anxiety and be a spy. No, I get, and I don't know about you, but I get like stomach issues when I get anxious. That's, that's a normal. thing too. Yeah, that's normal. I would be like, I'd be like in the middle of like a fucking Russian like fucking masquerade party or whatever spies do. I feel like they're always at a party somewhere and like just like shit my pants <laughs> while like putting a fucking I don't know I don't, I don't know why. Are you working a for tra- the government? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. And I would shit all over the transmitter and ruin it. <laughs> I'd be such a bad spy too. I'd be I, so I, anxious. The fact the spy museum. I gotta go check that out. I haven't been to DC in like. I'm 32 now, maybe like 16 <clears throat> years. Yeah, that was like, I, I don't, is that too long for, that's way too long for a school trip, right? Or no. When, 16 years ago? No, 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 for, uh, to, to go all the way to D.C. No, 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 no. D.C. is, is like, like one of the main ones. If, if you live in this area, right. D.C. is probably one of them. But if what you is live that? in like Florida, a, is it's probably four like. a four-hour ride to D.C. from New yeah, York? Yeah, it's like four hours, four and a half hours. Are we stupid? I think it's like no, four. no, 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 no. It's like four and a half hours. I had to Google it because I have to rent a car. The sad part is, I actually rode there for inauguration, dude. Yo, the Obama inauguration was fucking crazy. The Wait first a second, yes. I didn't know you did that. Yeah, it was me, Daniel, uh, Talia, and uh, this girl Alexandra. Alexandra, and we had nowhere to stay, and we had to fucking sleep in a fucking car in in uh, Talia's car, whoever's car it was. So it was you. Talia, Daniel, Daniel and Tormanitz. No, not Tormanitz. This other girl, uh, Alexandra. This other Alexandra uh, girl. And who else? That's it. Just us four. So and you we guys were just like, yeah, we're going to go to the inor- You guys slept in the car? Yeah, and we fucking, sh- this, like, this girl didn't even, like, know where her fucking family lived. We knocked on a door looking legit like we were homeless. Like, we had clothes and everything everywhere. We went to the wrong fucking house. And they were like, Todd, did you expect people? And and this dude comes up and we're like, he's like, I don't know who the hell you guys are. What the and fuck? She, and she goes, Oh my god, this is the wrong house. And she took us to the wrong fucking house because they moved. Very strange, dude. It, four people that just looked homeless. But anyway, it's kind of dope though. At the same time, because it's just like you're just like I had a handheld. It's filmed too. I just don't know where it is. Mom lost it or something. That was two thousand and eight. Yeah, I think around 2008. It was or it was 2000 fucking, and late. It was definitely years. an experience, man. It was cool. It's when I it's when I used to like just do shit like that and not give a fuck. But holy fuck, what a fucking Yeah, I think I think weird. I think let's let's dive into you a little bit here. Uh I think back in the day you used to be a lot more I'll go to some place. Now you I don't think you'll go anywhere. No, I have to like especially since I just started like streaming and shit. I have like like a lot of people are like yeah we should do this we should do that and I'm like yeah nah I just like I haven't really been going out lately my my thing that I've always been bad at though is driving driving more than like an hour gives me terrible anxiety I can't uh, I can't fucking do it I can't do it I've had that before one time I was driving a U-Haul van yeah and I just got like overwhelmed with fucking anxiety and panic that I was like yo I'm gonna pass out what do you think it mind. was. Who knows? Responsibility of like carrying other people's shit. Yeah, probably. And, and sometimes when it, I had a very hard time figuring out like what my triggers were, but still with the driving one, I still don't know what it is, but I did figure this out one night late in Florida. Yeah. It was in the beginning of the pandemic. Right. I was like, yo, you know what? I want to drive to Miami. I want to see what Miami looks like. I want to go to South Beach and shit and see what, like, I want to see South Beach completely dead. Oh, so you were hyped beforehand. Yeah, so, I, no, I wasn't even hype. I was just like, yeah, I want to go for, like, a ride. I want to go see, like, because uh, I was in South Beach in January. Right. And now this goes to April. I right. was in South Beach when it was huge. Yeah. Remember, like, when I'm outside of that club and that's like, foes need to get fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And hoes yeah. In front need of the, to get In front of the suck. fucking, uh, in, right in front of the uh, that, party, right. that party bus thing. Yeah, yeah. So that was in January. Yeah. And then in April... Um, I was like, I just want to see it. So I got in the car and I drove there at like 1130 at night. It was like a 30 minute drive. I was in Fort Lauderdale. So like it was like 30, 35 minute drive. I got so anxious around the 25th minute mark. Right. That I said, I just want to see something. Right. I turned around 
to go back to Fort Lauderdale. And you started feeling better. And I, I felt instantly better. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's when I'm going somewhere, I, when I know I'm going home, I'm like, nice. Even on planes, I'm like, I'm going home. Oh, yeah. You know going, what I mean? Going home is a huge thing for me. Right. Like, even if I'm out, like, so, all right. So, last night I went to the Garden, right? And I don't want to get emotional on this show, but I, I haven't been to a Knicks playoff game since the last time they were in the playoffs, which oh. was 2012. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So, you know. Nine uh, years. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, yo, this is, I was in my fucking 20, my early 20s last time they were there. It's crazy. I've lived in a, a, an entire lifetime. Right. 10 years is, is a whole life. Right. So I was just like, dude, I'm going to go. I was so excited to go, dude. There were 15,000 fucking Nick fans in there. The place was electric. They didn't get the win. They lost by two. It's going to be a long series, though. Knicks and six. Um, I was so worried that I was going to get anxious because I haven't been around 15,000 people in it, years. Yeah, but in we, a couple of we, years. What's funny is you and me used to, we, we and you, me and you <laughs> thrive in that, though. Yeah, you know how many t- fucking games we've both been to, and we become like the fucking life of the fucking party in, of the in that crowd in that specific section. See, I do that you know though. I, mean? I do that out of anxiety though. So do I. I used to do it just to be like, I gotta feel just sitting around feel not part doing of anything, unless I'm on a date or something like that. Yeah, but like, but like date, like yeah, yeah. If I used to go to games, I mean, I think right now I'd be a, like game stuff like that doesn't bother me. Stadiums and stuff like that doesn't bother me. I can do shit like that. It's just for some reason fucking driving, dude. I don't know why. I feel like the fucking car is fucking shrinking and I'm going to die inside of it. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, I'm, I'm just big, having a, trying to have a good time. You know who's like that? Uncle Dom's like that. Our our uncle always has to have the window down because I think he feels I don't know anxious. what his I don't know what Uncle Dom's thing is. All I know is that I can't fucking be in a goddamn fucking car more. If actually no, I can be in a passenger seat. I'm totally fine. It's like the responsibility of fucking driving. Of just, just driving a fucking that's, massive dude. Vehicle. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. I have no problem going anywhere else. Do you get, I, like, do you get do afraid? Like do you get afraid scares? I don't know. One time I was fucking fucking driving and I got really afraid scared because I was fucking coming down from upstate. It's a seven hour drive. Uh, and I'm fucking driving, and I'm like, what if I pass out? And I'm like, why am I thinking about dumb shit like this? So, like, intrusive let, thoughts. Yes, intrusive thoughts. Let, let me let me ask you a bunch of things, and let me know if you would do it. All right, all right. So let, this this part is called we'll, sex we'll, with a hot homeless girl. Yes, sex with a hot homeless girl. Yes, mm-hmm. I think most dudes would do that. Dudes are disgusting. Mm-hmm. Um, would you? Go jet skiing with permission. Um, yes, okay. I'm. I'm going this summer. Actually, it's okay. fucking weird that you asked me. That. I've never gone before. I love anything with two wheels on it, four wheels on. Yo, it. See, I love driving. I love. I love. Um, fucking Lake George. Love. Yeah, I love jet skiing. I love fucking like motorcycle. I I love all that type of shit because it's fun. I I have fun doing those things. You should come up this summer. This upstate. We're gonna go to Lake fucking Judge. I want to go to Lake Judge. Fucking get Selena. We'll go to Lake Judge. We'll Selena, you want to go to Lake Judge? Oh, Selena asked me the other day. She was like, what's like your opening line to a girl if you're single? And I was like, I'd never used one. I've, I'm not an opening. I don't give a shit about that either. I just like, I, I just, it's off energy. I, I've never if someone used, is attracted to me, it's because I'm putting that energy out into the world. Right. And not to be a douche right now or sound like a douche, but don't use opening lines. Still get pissed. Yeah. I feel, I mean. I respect you. Shout out to all the puss out there, respectfully. Shout out to all, you know. Respectful res- puss. Respectful puss. Respect the puss. <laughs> R- R- need R- a fucking R- shirt like that. RTP. Respect, Just going like this. I was going like this. Respect the puss. Respectfully puss. RTP. Um, <laughs> <laughs> RTP, yeah. RTP. RTP. Respect the puss. If you guys ever see us in fucking, now if you ever see us in person, just RTP. Yeah, just say RTP. Say respect the puss. Yo, so I'm walking out of the garden last night. So, like, the garden was lit. It was dope. Um, oh, what an experience. Yeah, yeah. It was really dope. Uh, it was exciting to have everybody, like, really back in the garden. 15,000. That's not full capacity, but that's pretty much full. It was the most that the NBA allowed, and it was fucking lit in there. Selena's first basketball game ever, so I wish oh, that they won. sick. But, uh, yeah, I've never was, like, an opening line guy. Just be like, so, like, from here? Yeah, I don't do the opening line thing. No. I just I- If someone came up to me, they were like, hey... Like you're you, like girls will be attracted to your energy if you put out positive energy. Also, I mean, it's 2021. Are we still using shit that we learned on the internet? Like, make up your own shit. Take yeah. the time, sit down, write it on a fucking notepad if you have to. Come up with something creative, your goddamn self. 
No one wants to create their own shit these days. That's the thing. It's hard for people to be creative. Dude, Dude, it I also can it, be any kind of thing you want. An opening, an opening line, in my opinion, even this has come from a guy that's never used one, but you don't have to. It doesn't have to be, oh, are you from fucking Tennessee? Like that dumb shit. Because I, I can see those tents. It doesn't have to be like a punch, like a fucking punchline or a fucking rap bar. It could literally just be like, Something you go all the way at, like all the way out to do, and like a girl might be like, "Okay, that's fucking cute." <laughs> okay, you know what? That's actually kind of fucking cute. <laughs> yeah. Gr- girls love saying, "You know what?" You, you know, know what? what? I was I wasn't gonna talk to you, but then I saw no. you dancing. I was like, "Bitch, my- you knew you were gonna talk to me." <laughs> my fu- my thing is, gr- a lot of girls in the club always do that. When they're when they're fucking when they're dancing, it's always the finger in the air going like this, like it's that's their fucking thing. A lot of girls can't dance too, so that's their go to. So their go to is to like do the lyrics and like 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 do stuff with their hands or just do this. Mm, yes, yes, this is it. I don't really. My thing is, if I'm gonna go out, I want to dance. Yeah, I want, even if I look like an asshole. Dude, I will dance. If I'm in a bar where no one's dancing, I'm fucking dancing. Everyone, who doesn't love the guy dancing? That's what I'm saying. Unless, uh, listen, no offense to people that listen to EDM, but what the fuck are you guys doing? I don't that know. That shuffle shit? Yeah, that, that's, it's the, the white crip walk. Look up fucking tutorials on fucking the shuffle dance. Oh. It's, like, it's like, really, bro? You put down two pieces of tape? Like to fucking show where your heels go. Like, come on, man. That's just fucking. That's not hard to do. It's a fucking shuffle. And the the annoying thing too about those shuffling videos <laughs> oh, is they pe- take themselves so pe- serious. They take themselves so seriously, and also like people will look at it and just be like, "Yo, she's fucking killing it." Dude, you look like you're doing a workout at a gym. You look yeah. like an idiot. Yeah, the the, the shuffle is the worst. I'm sorry, dance guys. If you guys are shufflers out there, shout out to all my shufflers. No offense. Now listen, you guys might, might watch somebody fucking do like bachata and be like, "What the fuck are they doing?" Everyone has their own. Hey, what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, uh, not that I'm a bachata dancer, but pff, we could both get nice if we wanted to. Yes. Um, I don't know, and I feel like oh, our whole family has pretty decent dancers. If not, yeah, they got no good one's rhythm. A, no one's afraid to dance in our family. Like, no one everyone our, likes dancing. No one in our Most family people. doesn't have rhythm. I feel like everyone does. We all have, and even rhythm. if they don't, they'll probably get it super fast. I mean, you our could, family's you, hot. You could dance. You could you could dance pretty well. I'm just saying the shuffle thing. It looks fun, but stop doing tutorial videos where you look mad serious, like you're like you're doing the world a favor. You look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> stop fucking doing that. Don't, shit. You know, the only thing that makes the shuffle look dumber is when you do it slower. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that looks dumb. And that's what it is. It's like, all right, guys, here you at. So what I like to do usually when I shuffle is I start off with a fucking right heel fucking shift piv. I know most people don't do that. They usually start off with their fucking left pivot uh, uh, shift heel piv. Yeah. I start with the right shift piv, heel piv, piv. I, sho- like I, I shuffle goofy. So what I want to do is, yeah, I do the goofy show. Some people call it the southpaw shuff di- div, dividend. I, what I like to do is I like to go this way, twist it, get my arm in the air, just put a little something different into it. And you're like, dude, shut the fuck up. Do you you're remember, doing the easiest dance on the planet. Do you remember when that white woman was like, these are the like hip hop head bobs. She's like, uh, oh uh, God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that fucking shit dude, is so fucking dude, funny. Dude. She crushes it though. She is hilarious. She's, She's like, like pop, 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 pop. 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 You want to do a little bit of that? Yeah, she's so. She, it's like the white. She's teaching. It's the it's the old white chick. She's yeah, teaching, yeah, she's I'm, teaching I'm hip hop, right? Up. Yeah. She's like, all right, I'm gonna teach you the basic hip hop rhythm. It's she's uh 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 uh. uh, uh. uh. This is called the Harlem Shake. It was created in Harlem during the 80s. I was there. You want to get a shift and a ha, then a ha 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 ha. <laughs> all right, let's try it on three. Play that hip hop track first. Like some, first, dun, first of all. Dun, 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 dun. First of all, I typed in white woman on YouTube and, it's the first and it was the first <laughs> video. It says white woman teaches hip hop. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. Oh god, man. Um, that is crazy. Do you think before I play this video, the la- the I didn't want to get too off topic god, like uh, EDM uh, shufflers uh, are going to hate us. Yeah, now. I wa- I wanted to stay on that for a second. You ever see those videos of like the concerts and there's just like one girl just dancing by herself and shit? Yeah, yeah. And How do you dance with a shuffler? Do you shuffle battle her and then like maybe you get to have sex with her? Or like you can't grind on a shuffler. No, I think you got to give her like a fucking candy bracelet first or something like that. Like how do people hook up with those things? I know like you guys take drugs or whatever. And listen, I've had my fun with drugs. Molly in particular is fun. I mean, I get it. But what I'm saying is not one part of me is 
is going to be like, yo, I just want to do a whole bunch of malls and then go shuffle at this place in a hundred degree weather. Yeah, it's like Mardi no. Gras for people on Molly. Because, I, like, they, you know, you're just giving each other, like, there are people that just show up with fucking, like, fucking 20 fucking bracelets on their arms. And they just look like fucking uh, a camp counselor that had all their fucking kids make them fucking, uh, you know, those little beads that can't, kids used to make you and give to you when yeah. you were a kid. Kids used to make me so many bracelets to be like, Danny, I made you a bracelet. Here's here's the thing. They're having a good, like, like we're, you know, we're, we're shooting the fucking piss right now. Right? Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. We're taking the piss we're out taking of you. The, we're taking the fucking piss, all right? All right? We're taking the piss out of you. But here's, yeah. here's the thing. All right. <laughs> here's the thing. It's like do what you want to do. Everyone has their own fun thing. I just don't. I just. I think that 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 age group only goes up to like twenty two. Also, yeah, yeah. You, you, I think it's it's a short it's a short career. Like you have to you have to retire pretty. Dude, easily. all of our friends that liked EDM still do, but they're not going as hard as they used to back in the day. Or like some people are still going to concerts and wearing like bandanas and like fucking neon stockings or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. But like at the same time, I just I looked at it and I'm like, okay, you know what? The music isn't the worst thing ever. It's really not. It's I've heard some EDM checks and I'm like, okay, this is actually kind of fire. No, some of those shits you know? bop. Some yeah. of those shits bops. Like, yo, I fuck with. Skrillex, just, like you know, what I'm saying, I fuck, fuck with, with that it. crowd. It's so weird. No, I will say the thing about those crowds though is they are like the most peaceful crowds. Yeah, it's not like you're. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want like a rough crowd, but like no. I mean, yeah, the whole like oh, oh, like that shuffle was crazy. That person just fucking did what that other person just fucking did. Yeah, it's the same fucking shit. I, I've never seen anyone get. Now there probably are people that fucking kill it and actually do do some ill shit that don't Sh get the shufflers, credit that they deserve. Shufflers are gonna come for us. Oh yeah, shufflers yeah, come at we're, us. We're gonna get shuffed hard. Or there's gonna be people in the chat like, "Hey man, I used to shuffle. It's actually not that bad." But I but I agree, it's kind of fucking stupid. Now, here's <laughs> here's the thing. I'm not saying that it's stupid to dance. Have fun and do you. Yeah, fuck but it. But if you think that that kind of shit deserves tutorials, you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> I can watch that shit and figure out every step in two fucking seconds. You don't want me shuffling at a fucking goddamn fucking EDA. Uh, well, who were those guys? Uh, they were big sh uh, the shuffle dance boys. Sexy and you know, I'm just gonna do Oh, oh uh, fuck. The, the, the twins or whatever. LMFAO? LMFAO. Weren't they shuffle boys? Wasn't that a shuffle dance song? Yeah. Did that shit like start that shuffle shit? I love how they made that song and was like, yeah, we'll break up now. Oh, yeah. They're not together yeah. anymore, right? No, they're not together at all. Oh, God. Well, anyway. Shufflers, no offense, but, like, also, stop with the tutorial videos. This is hilarious, though. This is hilarious. God. Oh, why are they doing that? There's too much enthusiasm. Hey, I'm Dana. Look at my feet. My feet are straight ahead. You don't want to do that. You want to turn your feet out. You want to do this backwards. And she looks like she's fucking... <laughs> she looks like she's dancing like Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> the fuck is she doing? Oh God! What? Oh, is that what it's all about, woman? I like her accent. Where the fuck? Bro, that's not hip hop, really. What is she doing? Oh my God! Oh my God, dude, is this college humor? <laughs> Is this fucking uh, funny or die? Uh, your hands <laughs> like this. <laughs> like this. Oh! Oh, shit. All right, she was killing it. Go, Dana. What's her name, Dana? Dana was killing it. Who's this? One of her minions? It sucks. Just so you guys know, there's not one black person inside. Not, no, they're all, first <laughs> off, they're all white and no joke. I don't even know if this is hip hop dancing. They look like they're dancing like fucking Charlie Chaplin or like fucking old time quartet guys. It's not even like real hip hop dancing these are the hip-hop people that come to you during a school assembly yeah about drugs right you know what i mean also her mom she didn't give the full story her mom said her posture or whatever definitely fully blown racist yeah it was yeah, like yeah. what are you gonna go out there and dance with your black friends <laughs> <laughs> and she was like fuck you mom it's hip-hop mommy yeah it's fucking hip-hop you wouldn't understand you're oh like yo you're from fucking uh, you're from fucking kirby'sville missouri it's ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's like ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck is she doing, man? I will I will say this, though, about She's cool. about, about dancers in general. Yeah. Being able to remember dance routines, pretty admirable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of like, course. Like, I'm talking about real, real dancers. dancers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, imagine, like, the rigors of, like, going to, like, be on 
back in the day like Michael Jackson's tour like how many people you had to beat out just to dance and then the pressure of performing in front of fucking 50,000 people and knowing and not fucking up and like in like with like Beyonce and shit and like knowing if you fuck up once right she's gonna fire your ass I would do something funny though during a dance and be like I'm like get the finger and then like who's gonna notice that you know what I mean if you fuck up maybe once also how many times like when you go there and it's like beyonce yeah the dancers and everything are cool but it's fucking beyonce like no one's looking at the dancers everyone's just straight up grilling beyonce yeah until she becomes part of whatever choreographic thing that they start doing which is crazy to just be like yeah i gotta remember my song and then like these like five counts what's the weirdest concert i want people to answer this in the comments too <laughs> below um i want people to answer this like too. like and subscribe right now <laughs> I, w Fuck. I want you guys to answer this too what's the weirdest concert you went to that you were like i have no business being here but i'm actually having a decent time i went to a kenny chesney concert <laughs> there you go dude that's <laughs> fucking amazing and were you like I'm, I'm danny does like this funny thing with like this head where he, like he's having like a good time like an old it's like an old white guy head bop and like i'm just imagining danny like w w were you there and you're just like this is actually not fucking terrible like i'm kind of digging this no but you, you could just tell that just like the there's a lot of it's racism in the air i mean maybe for maybe some people you hope so you I get the one person girl. who's like hey man you having a good time no, 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 no. You could feel the tension, but most people were like, hey, man, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, hey. What's going on, man? If, if it was in New York, that's how you scope out who's probably raised. Yeah, but You also, fucking go to a Kenny Chesney concert. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand that people in upstate New York, it was in upstate New York. Right, right. People in upstate New York, I love how it's not country at all down here, but if you go there, it's just like quads, pickup trucks, and Kenny Chesney. Dude, fucking in the Walmart up there when I went to go visit uh, my buddy, there's camo shirts everywhere. And also, if anyone ever got at me upstate, I'd be like, "Yo, you're you know you're from fucking New York, right? One two hours down, it's you're not from like I you live a country life, yes, but you're not from fucking Texas. No, but they do that. They'll Relax. Just, like, uh, I literally went up there like, what's going on? I was like, dude, this is. Fucking yes. Syracuse. Take your upstate, I was like, what are you your, talking about? Take your upstate shit to fucking Texas or something. Now, here's the thing. You can have farms anywhere. I understand it. I get it. But it's always just weird to me as a lower New York guy, a lower fucking uh, section of New York, going up there and realizing, oh, my God, this is actually New York. Because obviously, dude, we used to go upstate all the time. Yeah. We used to go on big farmlands and shit like that. And obviously, there's farm life up there. But to me, it's just like, what do you do? This is, this is New York. But bro, you know what? Went, it can I, happen anywhere. Bro, it really can. Listen to this. I went to Hadley, New York once. Okay. Right. God, I mean, that sounds fucking... And shitty. it was an Airbnb. It was like, uh, let's go away for the weekend. Right. And we went to this house. And <laughs> so we get there, right? And before I booked the house, I'm reading the reviews. And one of the reviews was... The house was nice, but the owner threatened to break my hands. Jesus Christ. So I was like, oh, God, here we go. So I get up, I get up there. We, this was after I booked the place. So now I'm up there, and I'm reading this review as I'm driving up there. I get to Hadley, New York. I lose all cell service. Jesus. So like now I'm like probably the brownest person in this neighborhood, like in this town. Like my, my cell service goes off. They're going to fucking kill me. Right. So I'm just like, okay. Uh, then I get there and I was like, dude, I have to ask, what's this thing about breaking hands? Yeah. And he was like, man, uh, I had, uh, you know, like, uh, they booked my house for like seven people, right? I came here, <laughs> there were 15 people here, and they were burning my American flag in the backyard. Oh, and I was like, one of those is a lie. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the flag one. So yeah. I was just like, okay. And then he was just like, yeah, they just like disrespect the place, tore up the place. And I was like, who were they? And he was like, uh, they were like Muslims or something. And I was like, oh, my God. There's no way I'm going to get my deposit back. So I was just like, all right, well, I just had to understand what was going on. He was like, yeah, don't worry about it. We were there for two days. No cell service, no cable, nothing. Fucking sucked. The Wi-Fi sucked. The Bluetooth, everything that was Bluetooth had no teeth. It sucked. So I was like, oh, my God, I can't wait to get the fuck out of <laughs> no, here. Dude. On the day that we leave, uh, all right, there's a room. This guy had a secret room in his house. Oh, God. This guy had a secret room in his house. Let me tell you something about me. I'm a sneaky little fuck. All I'm right. a sneaky little whore. 
So I'm going to find shit in your house that you don't want people to find. Right. I'm going to go looking for like weird shit. Yeah. If if you if you're if you have the accessibility. Oh yeah. The, you, you know do me. have the accessibility if you start finding shit, right? You're just like I'm going to start touching things. If you leave me in your house for alone for more than 2 hours, I'm going through your things. I'm going to look at shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going through all of your stuff. Yeah. I'm not taking anything, but I just want to find out deeper what kind of fucking disgusting freak you are. Right. <laughs> so I get into this room and it's just all guns. Damn, yeah. Crossbows. Sick. And a trophy of him when he was in like ninth like nineteen eighty four. Holding the biggest fish catch he's ever had in his life. No, he was like Miss Mr. Miss. He was like <laughs> he was Miss New York. Uh no, he was Mr. like upstate New York, like Olympia. So he's oh. just like juice to the fucking gills. Oh, you so can already he's tell this guy's so he's just fucking broken. He's just broken, fucking swollen. It. Yeah, he's huge. It's a brick house. Yeah. So they're like, there's this bus, and I'm like, whoa, like I hear this stuff. And I go outside. The next day we were leaving, right? Yeah. So we're like, yo, we're cleaning up a little bit. We're checking out. He's like, all right, you guys checking out? And I was like, yeah. He's like, all right. He came in through the front, and then we went in the back, and then I went out back to like close up with him and just being like, "Hey, all right, we're good. We're gonna we're gonna leave." It's him and four other white dudes just skinning a deer. Oh, just like right near your fucking uh, right near the place that you're renting yeah. your room. Yeah. So I was like, "You guys have a good stay." He's like, <laughs> yeah. like stabbed oh, it and was yeah. bleeding it out. He's like, "Everything good? You guys were able to get on Wi-Fi?" <laughs> <laughs> fucking blood shooting in his face. Yeah, while he's, he's talking. Like, to you. Yeah. He's like, <sighs> I didn't. All right, Will. Thanks for staying with us. And it, and also, what I forgot to say on the first day that we showed up, he was leaving. He was like, "Yeah, man, the house is all yours. Go for it, man." And he just takes an AR-15 and just loads it in the back of his truck. And I was like, "Where are you guys going?" He's like, "Hey, we're gonna go hunt for a couple days." And I was like, "Dude, I'll never come back to an upstate New York town like this and stay here because it's fucking terrifying." Dude, the lake that we went up to, it's three hours away. First off, we went to a restaurant, and the sign goes, this restaurant is biker-friendly. And I'm like, who fucking cares? Uh, I shout to bikers, but also, like, who Woo! fucking... Like, what are bikers... Like, what does that mean? Are bikers, like, frowned upon? I mean, I know that they're usually tough guys, but not all bikers are tough dudes. They're actually nice dudes. Yeah, I don't think you know they're. I, mean? fr I don't think they're frowned upon. But, but, like, but it was so. It go, this this rest this cafe this diner is biker friendly. I'm like, good for fucking you. Who gives a shit. That's fair. I was weird. like, what the fuck? I was like, oh, when I get in here, a biker's gonna come in, and I'm gonna fucking. I'm not. What am I gonna be like? Fucking prejudice against a fucking goddamn biker? I don't give a <laughs> shit. They were saying that it was like so weird. So anyway, we got there, bro. No joke. Certain parts of upstate New York, it feels like I'm in fucking Mississippi, dude. Just without the accent. Like really quaint, shitty local places. Uh dude, I was looking out. You was playing GeoGuessr the other day. You ever play that fucking game? Uh no, but I've seen you play it and it looks like it's fun as shit. Dude, it's fun as fuck. We we were in Missouri the other No, we were in um we were in Missouri. There was a place called Flea Hags. <laughs> It was like a place called like Flea Hag or something like that. Flea Hag where? And it was like all bait and shit like that. Uh, I don't know, man. It was in, it was in Missouri. The name of the place was called like Flea Hag. It was like somewhere something like that. Dude, we ended up near this place called Kirbyville, and uh, and uh, it was like, and the population was two oh seven, and like I was just like, okay, uh, that kind of number just shows me a few things. <laughs> They're not letting in anybody of other colors, or it's just a small town that's super nice and just it, it's kind of a boring lifestyle. Maybe no one really wants to live that lifestyle, or it's Amish or some shit. But like I'm looking at it, it said population 207. And this game is great because check it out, guys. Also, it's free. GeoGuessr. It's just Google Maps, but you have to figure out where you are by looking at the map and looking at streets and using certain things to find out where you are. Like you could find a business truck that might say an area code. If you know it, then you find out where you are. Oh, okay. I was okay. in, dude, we did the world one. I went to fucking, everyone's like, oh my God, this is Colombia. It turns out we were in fucking Taiwan <laughs> because there was like Spanish at first. Oh yeah. It yeah, was yeah. weird. It was so crazy, but I, I, we were in fucking Taiwan. They have like 37 11s on one street. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. It sounds like Florida, but, but again, uh, upstate New York, there are just places that I, I agree. Like, like I'm not surprised that you met somebody like that up there because y you don't think it, but that's how our, that's how it is, man. The, First of all, this guy country people are everywhere. This guy stabbed this deer to bleed it, like right. it was like a like he needed to kill his brother to take the heir to the throne. Right, it was right. very like right, like, oh, like, right, like very intimate. I was like, yo, this is fucking 
weird and, and shit. here's the thing man i got country friends you got country friends oh yeah not all and they're probably laughing at this not all country people are fucking terrible i'm just saying no there are some of y'all that some, are, some of y'all a little that bit. are a little fucking screwed a little and, bit racy and uh i've met a few of those motherfuckers especially when we went hiking in georgia you didn't come to that right no fuck that Dude, i ain't going down there oh, i forgot this guy we need we made a guy named cue ball out there then we met a guy, the first dude that we met, craziest accent ever, had an alligator tattooed on his skull. So I was just like, oh, man, we're fucked. <laughs> dude, I went, to, I went to Louisiana. Nicest guy, though. I went to Louisiana uh, for a bachelor party. I went to New Orleans. Oh, yeah. And uh, I got on a, one of those, like, gator fan boats. He was like, uh, and the guy, like, made, like, a racist joke. Right. Like, towards me. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if it, I mean, I can handle certain sh- things. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, but it was kind of bad. He was just like, hey, man, he's like, you go overboard. He's like, you know, uh, he's like, uh, make sure uh, like one of your white uh, brothers over here can tell you how to swim. Oh, I was like, geez. what? What? Seriously? Well, you're on yeah, plan. yeah. And I was, and like, everyone Jesus. started laughing. I was like, everyone thinks this is funny. <laughs> even your, even your homies. Yeah. So I was like, oh. I was like, oh. uh, I'm gonna have to eat this fucking racism now. Oh uh, yeah. god. Like, dude, I could swim better, it, I, and it, also I could swim better than everybody on the boat. Yeah, it'd be so funny if you just got up, took your glasses off and your hat, and just fucking dove in and started swimming. Yeah, like I was like, dude, dude, I was like, first of all, you're not even good at being racist. Okay. Uh, if anything, we're very good swimmers. Oh my god. All right, man. we're. We're, we're from tropical environments okay <laughs> we know how to fucking swim all right That's so, so i was just like all right you're not even good at racism just show me a fucking alligator but here's the thing up. i feel like in, if you're in louisiana i'm not saying that racism is is by any means acceptable but i mean i feel like once you're there it's almost like you're like oh wow only one joke we did all right down here yeah you know what yeah. i mean i was expecting more i was expecting more but no i was looking at this thing like people were posting like a uh, super racist uh like discriminate uh discriminating dress codes yes and i found this one dress code that said this is the dress code no wife beaters no gang wear no saggy pants no flat bill hats that basically should just say hey we don't want any black people in here oh my god that's terrible man. but now i think of it too am i am i that's a ra- real, wait, am i the, racist wait, for thinking that's racist the, that's real dress code yeah Shit. dude that's a real dress code dude you got to see these places no plain tees, no baggy jeans, no jeans hanging below waist, no do rags, no sideways caps. They're clothes. No sideways caps, no construction boots, no sunglasses at night, no firearms permitted. Thank you, management. If that's not the most fucking racist, uh, and the place is called Tipsy Crow, you should change the name to Jim Crow. Yeah, <laughs> Tipsy Jim Crow. Come on down to Tipsy Jim Crow. Where no, you know no is. baggy <laughs> jeans for what fucking reason? Or is it a health pr- issue? What the fuck did you actually come up with that and means I, you can't wear baggy jeans? And I love that they said d- they spelt do rags D O O. Like doo doo. <laughs> no do rags. Also, no plain, they, no plain tees? That's, what the fuck is wrong? That's so, big white tees. So I can't walk in there unless I have a fucking graphic design on my shirt? What the fuck? You, what does that mean? Yeah. And then uh, who sang uh, I wear my sunglasses at night? It's This is racist against black people and like. Uh, John Bon Jovi. <laughs> who, who, who sang uh, no a? I wear, I wear my sunglasses at night. Oh, God. Yeah. Corey Hart. Corey yeah. Hart? Yeah. There's only two people that can't get in there are black people and Corey Hart. God, that's crazy. I wear my sunglasses at night. Oh, is that how? Is that that song? Yeah. Uh, so I know I, can, I, know if I so hear it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking fire, that song. Uh, yeah, that song is dope. It's too bad he can't get in that bar. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, but no, it was it was just one of those things that caught me really off guard. Where I was, saying, I mean, no plain, t- no plain tees, no baggy, no baggy jeans. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, no listen, construction boots. Are we talking about Tim's? Yeah, they were saying, yo, you can't wear Tim's in here. Why the fuck not? I wouldn't even want to. I wouldn't even want to party. Tim's in a place are probably like the only thing I'd be like, hey man, those are a weapon. Take those off when you get in here. You could stop someone's fucking brains out with some Tim's. Yes. Yeah, Other than that, plain plain tees. I can't wear a plain tee. You no. know that Tipsy Crow's very boring place of a party oh there's another party thing i want to get into uh, let's get into the ads first um and we will get back into that but i, I want to talk about a party actually but uh you want to know something you want to know what's a party sometimes watch a porno okay and listen express vpn okay I can't stress enough how much I want my stuff to be a secret. I don't want... It's not that I'm watching, you know, crazy porn all day, all night long. 
or maybe it is okay and i don't want people knowing that i'm watching so much dang porn all right so listen i know that none of you guys watch porn right wink uh but just in case you have any friends that do you'll want to pay attention to this with everything going on in the world governments have increased their surveillance that means that they're watching you and what you're searching on the internet your internet activity is at risk okay your devices to track your location movements and in many countries this is happening every day and it's getting more and more and more because you know people are getting more access people are on the internet more and it's you know it's one of those things where people are going to find out what you're looking at okay you're watching that little hentai video that you thought was a joke guess what government knows about it you want to see you know a couple guys take on one chick guess what government knows about it you're in the sanctity of your own home however you get off however you get off but what i'm telling you this do you want other people knowing about it probably not so when you use express vpn your internet connection is rerouted through a secure encrypted server so you could surf the web anonymously without anyone looking over your shoulder maybe look i know you probably think uh you know all you have to do is go to incognito mode which i thought at one point was the way to go but guess what that's not the case here okay people can see what you're doing in incognito mode so guess what that last little you know little gb video little gangbang video you watched incognito mode's not going to save you okay so even when you use it your internet provider like comcast or at&t can see every single website you visit and if you live on campus you're using shared wi-fi college guys college girls playing with your stuff your network admin can too to be honest, that's kind of scary. I don't want people judging me off of the porn that I watch. I'm a really good guy. You know what I mean? But I, you know, I might get a little gross. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I don't want to get judged over what it's I Googled. It's basically one like this. Imagine you're changing your clothes in your house. The government fucking walks in while you're doing it. Yeah. You want privacy or what? I want privacy. I just want a little bit of privacy. I'm a good guy. I'm smart. I could do things. That's why I use ExpressVPN whenever I go online. I recommend all of you do the same. Without ExpressVPN, you're giving people a free license to peek over your shoulder to see all that freaky shit you're looking at. That freaky shit for me and for my eyes only, okay? And ExpressVPN is the people and the crew that could take care of you when it comes to being safe on the internet and watching what you want to watch. Brother. The people aren't getting after you, brother, okay? Dude, ExpressVPN, brother. All right, so today... I want you to go to ExpressVPN, that's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash LOPS, okay? That's ExpressVPN, E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash LOPS for three months free when you sign up for their one-year package, okay? So visit Express.com slash LOPS to learn more and protect your jerk. Bada bing, bada boom like bada that. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, okay? All right, listen. Here we go. This is one uh, sponsor that I'm obviously very, very, very excited to uh, be a part of and have a part of our show. We spoke a little bit about anxiety and social anxiety earlier in the show. Uh, better help. Okay, and uh, our, we love our sponsor over at BetterHelp. Uh, they've actually helped me out a ton. I've been able to use their services, and uh, especially during the pandemic, it's been tough to get to those doctor's offices. You know, uh, a lot of people are getting vaccinated. Some people still aren't. Some pl uh, places have not opened up fully. Some places have. So BetterHelp has been a great help to me, okay? And as you know, a lot of us take care of our bodies, but 2020 and 2021 have been tough. So we should also think about taking care of our minds. The good news is therapy works, 100% proven. I um, have been on record many times saying how important therapy is to me, um, and BetterHelp has been a part of that, so I do want to thank them while I'm reading this ad. And therapy can be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be sitting around talking about your feelings. It could be unloading or gaining new tools to cope with things better. Coping mechanisms are very important when it comes to recovery, okay? Um, I had to learn all of these things about the human body and how it works and the human brain and, and why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. BetterHelp has helped me with that. Um, and listen, a lot of people battle with their temper. I know I do. I get upset sometimes. I punch things, uh, you know, like <laughs> small animals. I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know, I'll punch a pillow or two. I'll knock a pillow out. I have no problem punching a pillow right in stupid little pillowy face. Okay? And or there's just too much stress to manage. Stress is linked to bad health. 
so you guys know. Bad physical health. Mental stress is linked to physical health, and it will deteriorate your health. Stress can kill you, okay? They have depression, anxiety, PTSD. The list goes on and on, right? We have a lot that we deal with as people. If this is you, you can use therapy to get some tools that makes life easier. We all need tools. A lot of the times, it's hard for us to find these to uh, these tools, and guess what? BetterHelp is here for you. They take care of all of it. All right. Um, you know, I've used BetterHelp for my anxiety, my panic, uh, like I said before, my coping mechanisms. But I've also talked to it about my temper. And then also just, you know, trying to figure out how I can make myself the best version of me. And BetterHelp has been obviously a tremendous help to me. I said great help before. Now it's tremendous. Uh, when everyone is struggling with something, there's no more shame. You don't have to tell everyone your personal business, but you could talk to a therapist about it privately, okay? BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. So a lot of people, you know, the Zoom's a little tough for people. Um, and I get that. A lot of people have a hard time making eye contact. That's just how some people are sometimes. And I totally feel that. And BetterHelp does too. So that's why they make um, accommodations for people like you. And there's nothing wrong with you. You're beautiful. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. I can't stress this enough. Therapy can run your wallet in a time where, you know, a lot of people have been out of work and their wallets have been, uh, you know, a little bit tighter. Um, tighten up the spending. BetterHelp uh, has great price points to make sure that they can get somebody to see you. Um, also, it being much more affordable... It also is very fast. So you could start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. That's fantastic. I know people that have been looking for therapy for years still haven't found it. Join the millions of people who are uh, seeing what therapy is really about. It's always a good time to invest in yourself because you are your greatest asset. I agree 100%. The best version of you will put out the best energy into the world and you will live a long and happier life, okay? This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and the Low Priority Podcast listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com uh, using the promo code LOP. So that's betterhelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash LOPS, L-O-P-S, okay? So go to betterhelp.com slash lops all right that's an amazing one another amazing one our friends over at manscape manscape take care of that dirty booze manscape gonna sculpture that dong and that peen scene get that dong so clean for me use manscape lawnmower 4.0 oh yeah father's day is coming around so make sure to clean your penis up dad uh yeah so listen father's day <laughs> uh manscape wants to tell you about their amazing new 4.0 weed whacker okay father's day is just around the corner and you probably need a gift for your hairy ass dad make your dad proud this year and get him uh him and yourself shave those dad pubes shave those dad pubes <laughs> shave those pubes daddy <laughs> Daddy, chill. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, um, so yeah, and probably need a gift for your hairy dad. Make your dad proud this year and get him and yourself one from Manscaped. Get the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right. The Lawnmower 4.0. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code LOPS at Manscaped, okay? So LOPS, um, use the promo code LOPS at Manscaped and get that free shipping. Um, listen, this is what I need you guys to know about Manscaped, okay? The new 4.0 is the best product that Manscaped has put out to take care of that dong hair, okay? And you might ask, how is this lawnmower 4.0 different from other trimmers? Well, this upgraded trimmer includes a multi-function on-off switch that can engage a travel lock. Do you understand that? This is a great feature if your father or yourself do a lot of traveling. This is the thing. You want to make sure that your clippers are in the best shape that they could be when you're grooming your gooch, dog, okay? You want to make sure that it doesn't turn on, and then when you go to get that uh, that cut, that battery is still there. It's clean. It's ready to rock. You don't have to charge it. You're like, oh, my gosh, I forgot to charge my Manscaped. The button went off. Not happening with a 4.0. 
Okay. Uh, the lawnmower 4.0 even allows you to customize your trim through additional guard lengths with sizes one through four. If you want to play close to the skin, go with that one. You want a little fade? You can go one, two, three, four. You can give your shit a high top fade. Shape up your penis. Shape up your penis, bro. Or yeah, whatever. All nice. right. Also, and another amazing feature, it also gives you the ability to turn the 4,000K LED spotlight on and off when you need a little more light for precise shave, brother. Okay, you can now shave your balls in the dark, dog. Yeah, where else are you going to go? A penis barber? Yeah, you can't go to a PP barber, a PPB. He's not going to help you. He's going to say, get your penis out of here. Go to manscaped.com, okay, and use that promo code LOPS. Get that 20% off and that free shipping, all right? They also have uh, other amazing products like cologne, crop mop. Um, crop mop ball wipes are fantastic, especially in the summertime. I wipe my balls with those things, and my balls are amazing. And then also I use the crop reviver, which makes my balls smell amazing. That's ball deodorant, dog. Crop preserver, ball deodorant. You want your armpits? They stink. They stink. You need deodorant, right? Your balls also stink. Put some deodorant on those god dang balls. And listen, for all the ladies out there listening, you're like, oh, Manscaped isn't for me. I'm a lady. Guess what? You'll appreciate this part. Manscaped products are cruelty-free, paraben-free, dye-free, and vegan. Okay? So you don't have to worry about it. You could get that to your man. It's safe for males and for males. All right? Get 20% off and free shipping with the code LOPS. That's L-O-P-S at manscaped.com. Get your dad a gift you know they will use. Get your dad's bush under control, okay? And remember, that's 20% off with free shipping on manscaped.com. Use the code LOPS. Don't forget that you came from your dad's balls this year. Show your original home some love with Manscaped. Knocking at the park. Knocking at the park, dude. Listen, man, I, I, I love the sponsors of this show because the sponsors of the show, we want sponsors that we actually use. All right. Express VPN, you know, porn. We don't want people knowing that. Better health, mental health. Love it. I'm a huge advocate. Shave your peen scene. And then also you want to shave that that fucking disgusting mess you have down there. Manscaped four point out. That's the new shit. Right. Get your dad, get a review from your dad, and then get your own. Buy three, buy four. All right? Use all of our sponsor codes. We have the best sponsors in the world, and uh, I'm super excited to work with all these companies. But uh, listen, to get back into the party, right? Um, did you see what happened in California with this party? Uh, no. Okay, so... Apparently in California they don't call house par they call house parties kickbacks. Had no idea what that Sounds was. Sounds Californian as fuck. Yeah, it's like yeah, just like small kickback, you know. Like come through, bring the homies. Yeah. You know, so um We're gonna be like major <clears throat> chilling and vibing. We're gonna be just like vibing so hard. Um What's with the vibes, man? What's with the vibes, man? Your vibes off, doc. Um so this guy, this kid, Adrian, this is it's the only name that I've heard. Right. He went on TikTok and was like, yo, I'm having a kickback. Like, come through if you want. Thousands of people showed up. Thousands. And guess what they did? They took to the streets. They were jumping. They were moshing. So jumping like, off so of shit. it was like Project X. It was Project X. It was Project X. Now, they were getting a little crazy. They were lighting off fireworks. They were getting a little rowdy. They were jumping on some cars. They were... They were crowd surfing it looked fucking dope as much as the old person in me wants to say that's kids what are we doing part of me was jealous uh i wish i listen i we had, i would still rage at 32 i could still rage we had a party like oh i could rage out i could rage out let the I'll kids rage. show those kids something they never even fucking seen oh uh, yeah asshole yeah. An, uh, yeah an old school rage. i will say this old school kids cannot rage like how we raged because you want to know why we no raged? No way. We raged with precision. We were very precise. And we got in a lot less trouble than you fucking goofs. Dude, I would fucking throw up, fucking just get right back to it, party, do my fucking thing. Dude, you ever throw up at a wedding? And then go back and win four games of beer pong? I have. Dude, I fucking fucked during a wedding and like right outside someone's window just went right back to dancing. 
You hear that? Yeah. Sex then wash dance. My, wash my hands after. And he hands. washed his hands but didn't wash his penis. No. Still haven't since then. Still hasn't. Since then. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, that was fucking m- nine years ago. Yeah. So, like, uh, listen, I, I saw videos from it and I thought it was super cool. But then a part of me was like, this is probably going to happen over and over and over again now. Can you imagine, though? These, these Project X. Can you imagine, parts. though, you have a kid, you pay all this money for a fucking house, and it's not his fault, but he puts it on, you know, just to say, hey, come have a party at least. Because honestly, kickback, honestly, kickback. I think I'll yeah. Sorry, kick back. Come on, honey. I think I'll be fucking I think, <laughs> <laughs> chill, dog. If it's a party, I, I, you know, Mad Peeps is gonna come through. Know, dog. Yeah, dude, it's fucking chill, honey. Come on, chill, honey. It's a kickback, dog. But I honestly think, I think like, as you get older, I start to think from the parents' point of view. I'm like, damn, they pay so much money in mortgage and shit, and these fucking little pricks come over and like just fucking. You know, sexual deviants just coming to my little house and fucking little horny bastards and everyone's getting hammered. But at the same time, I want my kid to be cool. Like, if my kid wants to have a party, I'm going to be like, you know what? Do your thing, man. Are you going to be like, everyone stay in the basement and everyone give me I'll the let, like, my kid have, like, maybe one or two parties if he wants to throw one. I'm not going to let him do it all the fucking time. No. But- Those how ha- Yo, you ever see that movie Ma? No. With Olivia Spencer? So she plays, like, this woman who, like, allows kids in her town to like party there right and then she like kills a bunch of them because oh, so like they're because like their parents picked on her or some shit oh that's crazy yeah yeah but she would just be like hey y'all like come party at my house and she's like 60 years old and they were like ma you're so cool but apparently she had a, her like her own she was like i don't have kids and then she like i'm sorry i'm spoiling this terrible movie for you but uh, movies like that can be spoiled. Movies like Ma can be spoiled. So then, like, apparently she has her own kid upstairs that she like drugs and like puts to sleep all the time. What? Yeah, because she doesn't want her to like be. Uh, How old is this she movie? Doesn't want her to be bullied. You should watch it. It's I'm gonna. Try, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's so bad that it's like kind of good. So she's God. like, "Hey y'all, you know what? Y'all gonna ca- make me drink alone." I'm almost. Ca- yeah, she's like chill. She's like charming, but then murders your child. Yes. Yeah. I honestly, I feel like I would. I feel like kids are such little shitheads. Like I, I like I'd be drawn. I'd be kind of drawn to maybe murdering one or two. I always looked at parents that let us party in their houses a certain way, though. Yeah, like oh, this person would probably be a creep and sleep with like a sixteen-year-old. Yeah, I was like, this person's dad would fuck this kid. I know for a fact they would. <laughs> I was like, you know, this is a little. You're a little bit too. There's cool nothing with funny this. about that. I'm just saying. Yeah, I I feel like I know who you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, and I was like, I for Ooh. some reason feel like I could have hooked up with your mom tonight. That should never be a thing. No, ever. But that happens a lot. But let's face it, it happens a let's lot. Let's face it. The real world works like this. If you were a guy and you made out with an older woman, everyone would cheer you on. Oh yeah, and then including if you were, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that. It's like that South Park thing. It's like oh, nice, nice. It's just, yeah. It's just so true. You're like, nice. whoa. You made out with Mrs. Steinberg. It's fucking sick. Yeah. The kid becomes a legend, and then that woman goes to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we would all <laughs> we would all talk about <sighs> if you fucked a teacher for yeah. the rest of your time. I think on- we went to a we went to we had kids. I mean, we're oh, not gonna yeah. say, we, I'm not going to say any names. No, but no, no. We went to school with somebody who banged a teacher. Yeah. It was crazy, man. I I thought it was the coolest thing I've ever heard. I, as a kid, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, as a young man, because listen again, I, listen. I, I don't know. Just there's this. I, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and be like, man, so shameful. Because oh. I would bang a way older teacher if she wanted to. Hell, dude, if, if an older me? teacher was, who a, was like, maybe I'm a piece of shit, and I would, I'm not saying that it should be always around. I'm just saying, as a young man. I it's it's a it's a shitty thing to do as a, as the adult, but like as a young man, I would have been like, well, I, I, I'm cool. Like if she goes to jail, everyone's freaking out about it. Yeah, I'm good. But she I'm in my room, like I banged a teacher. Dude, you would be the fucking man. <laughs> it's just the truth. It's a horrible, it's just horrible the truth. act. It but is, it's, but it's so cool. But hey, I'm not the old person. I'm the kid who banged. Yeah, and it was great. And you're a fucking legend. And yeah. you'd probably get so much your age puss after that. <laughs> <laughs> so terrible. You know but I mean? here's the th- here's the thing. Like here's the thing. 
it's just I would. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say if one of my dude, you know how many teachers I have crushes on. Oh, I thought you'd be like, dude, you know how many teachers I could have fucked? Oh, no, no, like, Tell no, me no. more, no, sir. I was never, no, I was never that cool. Tell me more. But I had so many crushes on so many girl teachers, especially the younger ones. Like, I remember just be falling in love with teachers. Like, I was such a little bitch. I just fall in love so fast. Yeah, you fall in love hard. Mrs. Hughes you fell in love with. That's when we were little. And yeah, then, uh, I loved Mrs. Hughes. Yeah, Mrs. Hughes. Didn't you guys talk about, like, anal sex in, like, sixth grade? I don't know. She was cool. But like, <laughs> I remember. I remember we did talk about something weird because we oh, were. Oh no, we, you guys were talking about if you can get pregnant from anal. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah and she was yeah. chill as fuck. She was like, I, I, she never did anything with the kids. No, no, but no. But all the kids felt like she would have, but she clearly wouldn't have. We were all like fucking sixth grade with super small dongs. But here's the thing. I mean, you never know. There's fucking weirdos out there, bro. Have you seen some of these pictures of the women that sleep with kids? They're yeah, like they're hot as shit. Women. They're hot as shit. And I'm like, what are you doing? You're a nice looking woman. Why are you banging a 15 year old? Something weird had to happen to them when they were kids. Yeah, it's a weird mental thing. Yeah, it's fucked yeah. up. But I just like, it's, that's just so weird to me when I see that shit. I'm like, what are you doing to your life, you fucking idiot weirdo? Yeah. Don't get somebody your age. You're a good looking young woman. What the fuck are you doing, you piece of shit? A lot of people that just aren't mature. See, this but is. But I would have banged is, you as a kid. There's a moth in here, and I can't wait till it comes over here because I'm going to kill the shit out of it. No, man. Moths are cool. Are we not supposed to kill moths? I don't know what we're supposed to what kill. What are the rules anymore. on trying to be PC? All right, there are kill. people who want all insects dead, and then there are some people who don't want in insects dead at all, and then there are people who are like they have rules. Yeah, and I hate. Are you a rule person? Uh, like with like daddy long legs, like I won't kill them because apparently they kill other other bad bugs. Yes, but apparently they're the most poisonous spider. Yeah, but they, but they have no way to like secrete it into my veins. Dude, we're geniuses. Yeah. Yeah, we are smart. Look like David Attenborough. We are smart. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, daddy legs uh, spider does not have long enough fangs to pierce human skin. That tall fucking spider that's in the corner of all of your walls <laughs> could kill everything, and also you, if it had longer fangs. But it is told in some countries that the daddy long legs will pierce a baby's skin and kill a baby human immediately. <laughs> Dude, there was a brown... Is it brown recluse or brown recluse? I don't know. It, well, what's it for humans? Is it reckless? It is reckless, right? Yeah. Me and you are brown, so we're brown recluses. You're brown recluse. I'm a recluse because I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I just don't leave the house and I and I climb the walls all day and try to be Spider Man. Yeah, you do, you do. Um, I always think about this yeah, too. You do. You I always do. think about this too sometimes when like I'm hanging around bugs. <laughs> yeah. So like yeah. I'll just be hanging around bugs and like I'll see it. And the crazy thing is, is my first initial reaction is I want to murder this thing in cold blood. I want right, to get. But it did nothing to you. But is that the human in me? Yeah, I don't know what is it is. Is that primitive man. that I want this thing dead? Yeah, I know that there are now. people who immediately yeah, want them assassinated. Dude, we hire hitmen for bugs. Here's what I, I do. Here's I'm what open I do. A contract on I these use roses. my high powered vacuum, and if they live through the suction, then they lived. If they don't, then I'm sorry. But there was a huge spider while I was typing on my keyboard the other day, and it came out of my fucking keyboard. Ew. Dude. Yeah. Also, just the introduction. Have a better introduction. You're going to introduce yourself to me. You'll come out of my fucking keyboard like this is fucking, uh, fucking uh, cable guy when he lets the spider crawl across his fucking face, and he's like, Dude. I'm just so lonely. <laughs> Peter, whatever his name is. So lonely. Steven. Steven. Is it, is it Steven? Oh, Steven? Steven. I'm so lonely. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. Please. <laughs> I love that movie. Movie's that movie's awesome. so good. Um, uh, about the bug in your thing. Yeah, it, my it keyboard. Pr it probably laid eggs in there, so you're probably gonna have a new fucking spider coming cool, out. Man, cool, man. Cool. Great. Awesome story. You gotta get that high powered thing. <laughs> what a flamethrower? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? Keyboard duster? That get the eggs right out of there. Yo, man. we should buy. You gotta go Elon, get my guy from Hadley, New York. Come Elon down, Musk flamethrower and use it on on podcast on the podcast. Yes. Also, I want that cyber truck real bad. Wait, the one that they threw a brick at and it didn't work? Yes, they threw a brick and it broke. But then they fix it. Apparently. I want that shit. That shit looks so fire. Looks like a Minecraft car. Oh, my God, it does. Yeah. I want to push that whip. I want to push that whip real hard. That's, six, that's for the public, right? Yeah, I think at the end of 2021, it's going to come out. I put a, yeah. I put a deposit down on yeah, it. At the end of 21, 2021, and it's also made for the end of the world, apparently. I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to move out of my apartment and live in the Cybertruck, I think. 
<laughs> That's kind of a sick move. Yeah, just be like, yo, I live in this fucking yo, you ever no, seen the videos of is, people that live out of their cars and they go cross country and they're having the best life ever? Bro, there was a professional baseball player that <laughs> lived in a van. Yeah, and he's worth like 10 mil or something, right? Yeah, what a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. He's like, yeah, you know, you got. I got like this knife. Like people come up to me sometimes. I'm like, dude, I get the sentiment. I mean, but you make ten million dollars. I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. He's he's living the life he wants to. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. Listen, to each their own. But listen. Also, that dude would fucking fucking throw frozen f uh, ropes at you. Yeah. But my thing is this: to each their own. Show sure, sure their own. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I've always had a problem with that woman's name, Charlize Theron. I think I got it. I heard she has adopted kids, and she looks like the kind of person who's mean to her adopted kids. <laughs> she just looks like that to me. You know how some people, like, because we look at them as actors or entertainers, and they look like really nice people, right? And you're like, gosh, Charlize Theron, I would totally throw on that butt with her <sighs> She kind of has, She kind of has RBF. Right? Resting bitch. Yeah. Which, no, I'm not saying, listen, I have people who do resting bitch. Right, and yeah, they're I, like, oh, "This I is know, just my face." I know plenty of people with RBF. I'm, and they're I'm the an nice RBF people. a little bit. They're, yeah, you have an RBF for sure. Like, uh, you you always look like not that you're mad about something. You always look like you're like Bumped bothered out. Bo bothered by something. I'm really, I'm really not. Everyone says that, but just, like, hold up, just stop. Put your regular face on. Yeah, you look annoyed. I'm not. I'm having the best day of my life. I know. That's what it usually is with you. You usually have the best day of your life every Back day. In because the day, you, don't, you don't go anywhere. I'm hanging out with my younger brother. Back in the day, you probably annoyed the shit out of me. Yeah. Well, but, yeah, but, but goes, to be goes. honest, that's without. To be honest, I don't know what that was. I, to be honest, I don't know what it was. It was not a jealousy thing. I was never jealous of you or anything like that. <laughs> I think I just fucking thought you were just genuinely annoying as fuck yeah that's probably what it was yeah you had like a. Uh, by the way we're, i'm talking about like 12 years old and show yeah. i'm talking about you had, like you when like we got a, older you had like a six month period where you just to be honest when we, when we yeah i know when we would fight each other <laughs> yeah i know when we would fight each other i'd be like damn that's my boy like i would never say it to you because i wanted you to feel like a little bitch but like when i would leave i'd be going home and i'd be like damn that's my homie <laughs> oh yeah a part of you a part of you as an older brother probably has to feel good and you're like you know what he, my tried, he yeah. fought back. My brother's not a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. He fought back. All right. Yeah. So it's like one of those things where it's like a. And Danny used to say the weird. I was very quiet. I just beat your ass or whatever. Danny always had to say something to be like, yeah, you like that? <laughs> it's so weird. My move was just put him in a headlock and hold him there. Yeah. But you were very good. At some, sometimes I would get out of it and then body you. But when you got me in one, uh, oh my God. I, I feel was like a, I was in a fucking Anaconda's grip. Dude, I was a fucking. Greco-Roman gold medals. Bro, one time my neck was fucking on fire after you got me in one when I was younger. I was like, damn, this kid's headlocks are crazy. I feel like my fucking neck just got blown on by a fucking Manda. <laughs> yeah, I, Dude, said, it was a I, crazy said Manda, I said Manda so much after. It's like, oh, oh look yeah. at that Manda. Manda. I know. I had a lot of people come into my chat on Twitch. Like, literally people that even don't even watch my Twitch are coming on from the podcast and go, you got a fucking Manda? <laughs> And then left, and I never saw them again. In my Did chat. you stop playing Pokemon Snap on there? What the fuck's wrong with you? Dog? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just there's you gotta start snapping. Dude, Resident dude. Evil Eight came out, and fucking um, and fucking uh, oh, this other game that came out Cups is called Subnautica. Yo, this game is. Oh, I, I heard about that game. I heard it. It's fucking crazy. Is it? Is it Manda? It's not, dude. You have you, you taken a picture? You basically go around hunting like Mandas. Have you ever taken a picture of Amanda on Pokemon Snap? Yeah, no, I don't think I got Amanda yet. I'm gonna no. buy Pokemon Snap when I go home because, bro, it's yeah, fun. I've been, I've been it's playing. Fun. It's uh, cool. Been playing so much MLB the show. It's fun, dude. I've been oh playing yeah, lots of MLB the show. Yeah, I don't. I've never. Um, so sports games, like, describe them to me. Like, what, like, what enthralls you about those things? Um, all right. So the cool thing about like MLB the show. Um, I'm is, half joking, by the way. I used to love sports. Right. I love FIFA. The the cool thing about MLB the show is they have this thing called Diamond Dynasty, right? Where you could you collect cards that are like players right so like you know uh, they, they all have like different attributes but you build your own team uh, from card this is packs some modern shit. New sh newer shit yeah and then you also have road to the show where you could create your own guy like my guy every year is pablo sanchez God. <laughs> that's uh, fire yeah 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 so like i create pablo sanchez right um also had a very super racist uh character thing uh on his card in backyard baseball it said Pablo doesn't speak English from what, but he makes up for it like being able to hit. Jesus Christ! Yeah, he was like it, one of his stats was that he s doesn't speak English, right? But fucking rakes. Oh Jesus! Yeah, so Pablo Sanchez was OP as shit, OP Pablo. So like he would just hit fucking 
home runs, dingers. And then if you clicked it enough, he would go, Psst, I speak English. Are you serious? Yes. That's was, a thing? Yeah, it was an Easter egg. Pablo Sanchez speaks English. I imagine, so myth, I ima- myth busted. I imagine you doing that thing where you laugh and throw your head back and it's like silent for a little bit and then you let out a laugh finally. Because <laughs> that's your thing I noticed. It's like back and then you just let out a fucking laugh. Wait, so that's fucking... This is is this current or is this older MLB the show they used to play? Oh uh, no, this is current MLB the show. What so. did we play each other that used to scrape me in all time? Back MVP in the day? baseball. Oh yeah, MVP baseball. Yeah, it's like yeah. man, that that MVP baseball 2005 is the greatest baseball video game of all time ever made. You think ever made? It's the it's the, it might be the greatest sports video game ever made. God, it's so funny. Someone asked you in my chat the other day. It it went it actually went backwards. I wanted to be a rapper and. And Danny wanted and not and not to be a rapper. Like I liked rapping a lot, and Danny liked video gaming. And Danny, I mean, we both like video games. We both liked rapping because we both did it as we were younger. But Danny was so nasty at video games when he was younger. And then he was like, you know, in a uh, Step Brothers, where the dad goes, "I want to be a fucking dinosaur," and he's like, "I lost it." <laughs> yeah. That's what happened to Danny. And then I just like stopped rapping, and then Danny just became a fucking phenomenal rapper. It's like we both just like switched spots, but like. But I wanted to go into this because I was talking about this the other day. Video gaming back in the day was way more exciting than it is now. Yeah. Because, dude, it was changing the world every time. When we got, we like, fucking 64 bit, are you out of your mind? Amanda. Amanda's Pokemon Snaps. Like, I remember Danny just fucking throwing fucking Bowser as Mario <laughs> and crushing it. But like, so long, gay Bowser. Oh, yeah, he calls him gay Bowser. <laughs> He actually, did you know in a newer version they changed it? He's so he's saying so long, gay Bowser. So he's not saying gay Bowser, but it sounds like it. So people were saying that so much it became a meme that they actually made him change it in the. In he's like probably newer saying version. so long. Yeah, he's saying. I think he's saying so, so long, Bowser? Bowser. Yeah, it's like something like that. Yeah. Or no, he's saying so long, King Bowser. Apparently, oh, too. so long, King. It's he sounds like he says gay Bowser. Dude, when though. you listen to this, me and Danny back in the day were like so long, gay Bowser, and like, uh, and one of my friends would be on to it. Oh, he's thinking about it when you fucking throw Bowser. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, he had great oh, music. Oh, 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 oh. Here it goes. Throw him. Throw that turtle, bitch. Wait, what is he? Is he a turtle? <laughs> so long, gay Bowser. And they just slowed down the rest of the video, and it's like so. <laughs> Dude, he calls him Gay Bowser. Dude, it's <laughs> it's so fucking. So anyway, Mario's a homophobe, guys. <laughs> yeah, he's an Italian plumber. I could have guessed that. Which, if you want to think about it, bro, being a homophobe. Which you want to think about his accent, all that, his thing, fucking kind of racist. Or not racist, but a stereotype. Oh, hundred yeah, percent, yeah, dude. Hundred percent. Big Italio mustache. Yes. Fucking big fucking Ginzo nose. Yeah. Uh, and uh, oh my god, the Mamma Mia. Yeah, like everything is just very like you know. I don't think. And we- also, what makes him a fucking plumber? I never saw Mario fucking <laughs> do one fucking sink installation. <laughs> I never seen this guy fucking fix a leak. All nah, he does is go down pipes. His life's more difficult than that. Yeah. I just don't get it. I never understood it about Mario being I think a that plumber. Was the I've one never thing, seen him plumb. I think that was the one thing they were they had any sort of relevancy was the fucking going down pipes was piping it. Right. That's it. And here's the thing that just dawned on me: plumber, what they plumb? Yeah, I don't really know. Because if you're a runner, you pl- run. I don't know. You could look up maybe the maybe the maybe the definition plumbing is a thing. I would think it's more like spelunking because you're going through a little crazy. I know it's spelunking's like going through tunnels and shit. I don't know how people do that either. If someone was like, "Hey, man, like, yo," if people were like, "Yo, you want to go miners?" Like, yeah, and then you just come home covered in soot and you eat like a sandwich and your hands are gross. It's not even that. I mean, <laughs> imagine. Imagine just being in a fucking hot, can't breathe oxygen. Also, it might collapse and you might die and suffocate and be buried alive. Like, that's terrible also. Going to work knowing that, yo, I could get trapped at work and get stuck here. <laughs> Willingly going there? You guys are fucking dumb. Yeah, but also... I'm sorry. But also... You guys are badasses, but, but, but also you're stupid. Ballsy, but yeah, but if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. Yeah, going to be dumb, you got to be, be tough. tough. Get knocked down, yeah, you got to get, get back, back up. up. Oh, yeah, you, gotta no dumb, you gotta be know. tough. You gotta be tough. Gonna be dumb. You gotta be tough. It's like Johnny Knoxville's cousin. That's one of the best. It's so true, though. It is. If, if you're, you're gonna, gonna be make dumb, it in this world and you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. You gotta be tough. You know can't, I mean? can't be dumb in a puss. 
Yep, can't be it. Can't be all those things. You're not gonna fucking. You're not gonna make it out here. <laughs> Life is gonna grab you by the tail and fucking. So long, gay Bowser. Uh-huh. So long, gay Bowser. I love that he calls him gay Bowser because <laughs> Bowser is kind of gay. Because like, <laughs> if you think about it, right? He steals Princess Peach, right? Never makes out with her. He just wants. Maybe he just wants like you know. He's like that one gay friend that hangs out with those girls. He'd be like, no, honey. Maybe no, no. She's 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 good. Maybe he was. Maybe he was. She's good. Maybe he was gay. Who knows? That's one thing that's always kind of pissed me off. What? There's always like a friend, like a cock blocking friend. It's either a dude or a girl. Right. Girls are more like she's good. Oh. And then I'm like, okay. Yeah, but that friend actually wants to fuck you. Yeah, and that friend just wants to suck your dick into him. And I'm not just saying that because I think everyone wants to bang me or anything like that. (laughs) Even though everyone does. Um, But uh, (laughs) I'm I'm looking at it like, oh, no, I actually wound up getting with that girl. They just didn't know me at the time, so their friend was protecting them. Which, there's nothing wrong with having a protecting friend. Wait, the girl that was like, she's No, the other one. No, the one that they said was good. Oh, yeah. Actually wound up... Like I've been in that situation where I, I this actually happened to me in the city. They always end I up was doing I that. was making out with a girl and they were telling me like chill 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 they're drunk and I was like I'm f- I don't even know what my name is yeah and she started kissing me first what the fuck is wrong with you she has a boyfriend I'm like okay yeah it was like something weird like that and then they all started attacking me and I was like I'm taking a taxi I'm getting the fuck out of here and their their friend was like no wait and I was like nah your friends suck and I'm leaving the person was making out with me first off I was like I'm not even doing anything wrong but granted listen we we've probably had friends in the past that were complete scum lords though in the past because you and me aren't like that like we're not like like you said we're not like opening liners like my friends a lot of my friends be like "Mm, look at that ass and i'm like yep that's an ass those are butt cheeks (laughs) those are cheeks good for you man good good eye no but if my friend but a hound you know if my friend was like yo that girl's got a fat ass i'm gonna i'm gonna agree with of course i'm gonna yeah i'll be like great ass yeah look at that but she's got some cheeks but i mean there's a lot of times where i'm sure my friends are like is this guy all right because i'm like cool man that's an ass like because i just feel like it's really primitive and stupid you got to be able to pull off swag alone no, no, it's not even that. Anyone can make a joke about a butt, be like, God damn, that's a derriere. Like, make a nice little fun joke. But there are people who are actually salivating from their mouth over fucking just a cheek walking by and like, oh, man, I felt t- let me tell you what I do. I don't give a yeah, shit. And then if that, I don't care. If that girl turned around and was like, pull your dick out right now, I guarantee you they don't. Oh, that, oh those like guys usually? Like, be like, yeah, sweetheart, yeah, bring that over here. <laughs> if I was a girl, I would turn yeah, around yeah, and be like, be like yeah, take t- t- Present that dick. Take your fucking cock out right now. Yeah, present that And dick. get it hard right now. Yeah. You fucking pussy. Reveal your penis. Yeah. Reveal your soft dick <laughs> right now. Dude. That it, would stop catcalling. Can, if, I, if can I ask girl, a question? Yeah, If up? you were a girl, mm-hmm. are, you fuck slang, are you slinging mad dicks? Or or are you... Uh, uh, or let been, me ask you this. Let me ask this. I've been asked this question many times. I think I would be a whore for sure. I would definitely get it in. For I'd sure. be proud as shit. I'd be proud about it. I'd just be like, yeah, my well, body, my right. Let's be, let's be fucking, let's be PC here. Anybody could be whores. Of course. Right? Of course. But I'm asking you. Men could be you, sluts. If you were a woman, if you were a woman yeah, huh? in a world where a women, world. women, I mean, let's be honest, they get, they got a lot more shit. Mm-hmm. They do. I'm not afraid to say that. That's truth. In a world with the women's where they get a lot more shit. Uh-huh. Are you slanging D anyway, nonstop? Yes. I'm talking about. Can you deal with that pressure? Yes, because at once I feel. Can you I, deal with that pressure? Yeah, I could deal with the pressure. <laughs> I like that you thought the second time. All right, so there's there's two things that I've always wanted to feel in this world. What a vaginal orgasm feels like. Oh, I heard it's four times better. I that's, heard it's like four times better. That's what I've heard. So uh, I for pain, me, I'm like, pain, I would yeah. just love to feel a vaginal orgasm. You know, I want to see oh, a vas gas. If God said, I'll give you a day where you can feel a vag gas, would you do it? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> One day, just get thrashed? Why not? But no, I would have to find the right I would have to find the right partner. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I feel like you have to go through a couple of dicks to know your pref. Well, you know? I, well your of course. DP. I'm not saying just go out there and, you know, fucking, you know, just fucking a schmo. No, no, no. I'm not but, just going to start sucking off the top. But, no, like, you yeah. know, I'll do a little research first. But my thing is, I want to feel the vag... <laughs> Gas for sherbs. I want to feel the vag gas, and then I would write a book about it. 
Like I would I would become like this amazing like yeah like letting cuz <coughs> excuse me as a guy I definitely And we're talking I about like cis, I cis dudes that. in a in a made up world. Right, in a made up world, yeah. yeah. Well, there is a movie, isn't there a movie with John Travolta where like people switched positions in poverty and shit like that? Like Isn't that Michael? No, Michael's where he's an angel. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a movie where it, they switch lives like like uh, white people and black people in America switch the the ways that they live. Uh, I think it's yeah, with John Travolta. Yeah, I remember that movie. But like it's like it's like Flash Friday, but really intense. <laughs> it's like a really intense Flash Friday. I don't remember the name of the movie, but like you know Flash Friday. Wait, who's yeah, in Flash Friday again? Um, Lindsay Lindsay Lowe stuff. Uh, and like Jamie Lee Curtis. Is that Flash Friday? Freaky Friday. Oh, Freaky Friday. Yeah. Sorry. That's why what? I was laughing. Because you kept saying uh, okay. Flash Friday. Flash. That's like a sale. <laughs> <laughs> that's come like when, on down to <laughs> Hank's Flash Friday on 306 Woman yeah. Street. That's like uh that's like when the McRib is back. <laughs> <laughs> flash Freaky. sale Friday. <laughs> so I was like, I want to see how many times Friday. you can say Flash Friday. <laughs> Oh god, Flash Friday is when you just like go outside and show your dick to your neighbor and run away. Okay, let me ask you this. Yeah, freaky Friday. Fri let's let's do a freaky uh Friday scenario right now. Freaky Friday. Mm -hmm. You switch positions, right? Your your bodies. Your girl's mom. I switch right? positions your all, mother, all day. And you switch and you're your daughter. Yeah. Are you gonna thrash your boyfriend as her? Oh man, good Cause, question. Because maybe he's hot. But like, like we were talking about before, you can't do it. Listen, I saw that movie with Zac F and fucking uh, Zac Efron and and uh, Matthew Perry. Yeah, they switch. The, uh, he goes, he goes back to being a kid again. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, and this touches on like our big conversation. And his daughter tries banging him. Gets real weird in the movie. Another thing too, back in Back to the Future, this guy has to avoid his mom trying to suck his dick. Bro, that's fucking weird. It's weird as shit. He's like Marty, and even at one point he goes, "Mom, you're so, you're so uh, young," and yeah. he, like he wants to say hot. Yeah, this guy it's wants to say weirder. his mom was hot. I know exactly what my mom looked like. If I ran up on my mom and I was younger, and my mom smiled at me, I'm walking the fucking other way immediately. Dude, there's you're not, not getting any conversation out of me. She tries I'm not trying to see my mom on her fucking goddamn fucking escapade days. Yeah, doesn't she like get him to take his pants off and they, and like she's like, "Who's Calvin Klein?" Yeah, yeah, she calls him Calvin because she think because because Calvin Klein obviously hasn't been out like he's like not contemporary for like right. men's undergarments in the and, 40s or some <laughs> shit. Yeah, and she saw his name and she's like, "Get out of that it's your name, right? It's all over your underwear. And I'm like, God, that's weird. It's your kids, Marty. Also, let's talk about another Marty. fucking weird situation Marty. in a movie. The girl that bangs Tom Hanks in Big finds out he's a kid and is totally fine with it at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We There's talked about no that. reaction. Oh, we yeah. did talk about yeah, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, We talked. That's why I said it goes back to your big point. Oh, to the big point. Yeah. yeah. It goes back to your big point but about how, how like how weird is that though? Still, I can't get over that. There's no like, oh my god, like you know what I mean? There's no reaction. I just wish that I could have one scene in a movie where it's the beginning and it's like a montage where like I'm going to school and like I get to school in a really cool way. Like in fucking Back into the Future when he's like, oh man, Doc, I'm going to be late for school. It's like, don't need money. Don't need fame. Yeah, yeah. Don't so need a credit card to ride this train. Such I've a good song. Been a moment, it's in your eyes. It might just save your life. Oh, it's the power of love. And then what's the, the other? Power and then what's the other? What's the other one though? Let's go. We're going back in time. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was their own song. Oh, was yeah. What do you think's the coolest song ever used in a movie? Like a like a. Not in a movie, but like a also like a what is it? Like a theme. What do you think's the coolest theme? I think Beverly Hills Cop probably has to be the coolest one. Oh, you're talking about famous ones that they made fame, like the movie made that song yeah. famous <laughs> along with it. Um, I would have to say in a movie, another great one is probably like uh, Speed with Keanu Reeves and fucking uh, 
and fucking Sandra Bullock. And Sandra Bullock because it piece, sounds like Metal Gear Solid. It's like dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. it sounds like Metal Gear Solid almost, which is one of our favorite tunes. I think that's probably the best thing. But ever. that that's one of the ones that I oh for like a video game. Yeah, it's one of my favorites too. But but, but a Godfather movie that but a maybe is probably the biggest. Let's uh, uh, da, 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 that's Let probably me, like, the most famous theme in the world. Yeah, that one or uh, what's an what's a, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna find another one, a one that is famous that was really big. Um, but I just thought, but but it's got to be the song for the movie. That's an actual fucking great name job too as well. Another popular movie that had a fucking oh god, I don't know. It's hard to think. What was that other one? Ace Ventura, Chicago. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that was like that was like the second one, right? Chicago. I love that part. Gives you like goosebumps when he comes out and just Chicago. Chicago, shish kebab, shish kebab. Yeah, I love that movie. That movie Bumblebee tuna, cool. Bumblebee tuna. Excuse me, your balls are showing. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. Uh, what was another? No, Bumblebee there were, tuna. There, an, there are other movies that are. I don't know if didn't Breakfast Club have one or something like that. Uh, yeah. What does he fist pump to at the end? Um, um, fuck, I forgot what the hell the name of that song is too. Uh, um, I hate looking shit up. But I'm gonna look it up. But yeah, there's so many movies that have so many classics. Um, oh, Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Welcome. Oh, that well, that's see, that's a famous song though. Yeah, I've never walked out of detention and gone like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you did, and you just hear, don't you forget about me. Dun, 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 dun. You know it's another thing that I hate too when you have these weird like little white girl renditions of like really cool old songs and commercials. What do you mean the ones where they sound like they're little babies that complaining? I yeah. Can help oh god, yeah. Don't Don't you. get me on the, the the whiny singer thing is the most when annoying you. shit you can do. And I know people are like, this is so cute. I'm like, dude, I can't. I, I can't. hate the version of this song. Whiny, whiny songs that are redone to sound like they're, they're saying their R's like W's and shit. And it's just like, yeah. It's, and it's like, so just, annoying. Yeah, so you didn't have to pay Al Green fucking $1,500 like for the your commercial? It sounds like the beginning to like a masturbation. Let's stay together. Uh, I'm like, no, dude, just pay Al Green $3,000 when we got the real song. Oh, it's so, it's so, yeah, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate whiny singing renditions. Yeah, songs. I hate like Regina Spector like renditions of songs. Like on ukuleles and shit. Oh, like, yeah, they should be like, they'll do like ukulele, like ACDC. It's like, I'm it's like, very pleasant right, and right. nice, but after a while I'm like, what am I, six years old? What is this shit? Yeah, I'm like, come on, guys. This is a double bin gum commercial. Put some fucking oomph in it. I can't. I can listen to any type of music, but I'm telling you right now, I can't. Like we were talking about this before. I like I can do country. I can do good country too. I can do like Chris Stapleton soul. Like I can do. I, I can do even other country. That's like I might even do an urban song here and there. You know what I mean? But I'm not doing this like fucking like Who's Chris this Stapleton? is my country. No, uh, Keith Urban. Like I could Keith do like Urban? an urban song here and there, yeah. Like a Keith, like maybe like one or two. What's but I can't, I can't What's do. Oh, that's I can't, a Tennessee whiskey guy. Like Chris Stapleton, right? Yeah, yeah Tennessee no whiskey. whiskey. Tennessee yeah. whiskey. Yeah. Like no offense to country. Like Sweet listen, I know it's an acquired taste too. But there's, I'm not saying you can't be proud to be where you're from. But some of them are overly like, well, you can get the fuck out of here if you don't like it. Yeah. It's just like, dude, relax. Like, what the like fuck? again, you're in upstate New York. Yeah, <laughs> you're closer to Canada than we are. So. Yeah, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, literally, you you're right get near out. Niagara you get Falls. Out. You loser. You can get out. You can get out, sir. Anyway, it's just like. It's like it's bothersome. It's just it's, it's just I can't relate to the fucking lyrics. No, I can't, I can't do either, it. Daddy. I can't. And, and and I'm not saying that all either. rap is good. There's a lot of rap trash out there too. Yeah, dude. A lot but, of rap is whack. Oh, a lot of it is but poopy. Dude. Here's the reason: is because we've made it so easy for people to release music. Dude, we just released an album. Yeah, and but it's, it's all and it's ridiculous. It's all stupid. Yeah, yeah it's all stupid. It's we, know we're stu we're, we know yeah. we're stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I've been watching like uh, yo, I was watching this. Love if you guys want us to make a real banger, just saying. <laughs> Put I your mean, money where your mouth is, cause studio time ain't cheap. Might blow your fucking Calvin Klein's right off the fucking pushies. I wanted you to watch this fight from Love and Hip Hop. Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, dude. don't don't look up what I'm looking up though. Close your I eyes. I, I'm blind. I can't. Close my, your eyes. Close your eyes. My eyes are. I'm. I'm. Clo they're closed, even open. I'm blind as a bat. I'm blinder than you. I think. 
All right, I, so, I don't even know what this is because I don't watch this fucking show. Okay, so these girls get into a fight. But right? I know it's hilarious. Yeah. These girls get into a fight. Right. Watch what happens. Okay. Now we're really about to have a problem. You want to touch me? <gasps> Ew. Ew. Yeah. Ew, she threw it in her face. <laughs> oh, yo, this bitch is thugged out. Did she do that on purpose? Oh, that is the most disgusting gangster shit I ever seen. So, <laughs> listen to this girl. She goes, "Did you throw up on me?" She yes. Goes, Did you just throw up? First of all, this girl's off, tits and her ass are wait a, so nuts. First off, decent save with your face. You're so gross. You made me throw up. But what was that? Did she get anxiety throw up right there? I think she got nervous and threw up. Did she have a night out before? Ew. Yo, guys. Guys. She throws up into her fist and makes like a fucking puke snowball and then throws it at this chick's face. Yeah, it's pretty gangster. That is the best improv improvisation I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's pretty in a fight. Out. It's pretty thug. I've out. never seen an improvisation like that during a fight. I love especially when people, on one of these shows. I love when people throw up. I love this guy in the background too. Look at him. It's like, oh shit, that bitch just threw up. <laughs> yeah, look at that guy. <laughs> He's like leaned over. He's oh, like, shit, that is that threw fucking up, yeah. vomit, yo? Damn, you threw up, cuz. Holy vomi mommy. I'll tell you this, though. That's a vomi mommy situation. Yeah, yeah. so. And then at the end. Oh, she's still puking. <laughs> and bitch, you're a bum. I mean, I feel like these shows are written to the point where that was fake, but she got so nervous during it, but they try to implement it, and they're such good actors that they just kept it going. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard to throw up like that. I know. I'm not saying she faked the throw up. I'm saying that was real, but they're acting like they were fighting, and she couldn't handle the pressure, and she threw up and then made it a part of the skit. Dude, I used to throw up all the time before <laughs> like uh, football games, oh, so I know God. what it's like. Oh, to, yeah, that nervousness? Yeah, That for nervousness, sure, for sure, dude. I don't think I, I ever I, threw I up off that. of nervousness, but like, I've, thrown I've had really nerves. bad, like, crippling fucking situations where I can't move and shit. Yeah, you one time you fainted once. Did I? Yeah, remember you were like, oh, yeah, yeah, outside outside you were like yeah, I'll see you later. And you took three steps and you just went. Yeah, I was like at the end of fucking Kill Bill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looked like. I hit you with that fucking exploding yeah, heart. heart. Exploding heart technique. And then you were like, all right, I'll see you later. <laughs> I died right there. I was like, oh my God. Oh God. So somebody call the cops. Jesus Christ. I thought I somebody fucking it. shot you from a fucking tree. <laughs> I was like, why did my brother just collapse like uh like a toy in Toy Story? <laughs> Dude, I love doing that. When the when the when they would hear a door, they would just fucking die. All their nerves would just shut off and their heart would stop. Oh my god. Toy Story was so lit. Such a lit fucking series. It's fucking there's another one I think coming out now. Skip a dobbies. Skip a dobbies got the sheep dudes. The sheep of deepest got the sheep out of the deepest. Yeah. She got a friend in me. Didn't he make a whole song like telling like little people they shouldn't be alive? Well, the thing is, is that he was actually a comedy, like he wrote funny songs on purpose. So short people have no reason to live as a comedy song. Dude, Randy Newman wrote music for the Three Amigos. Yeah, he did. He did. He that also idea. is the voice of the bush in Three Amigos. Yes. So yes. he was a comedy dude And he wrote like Yeah a really offensive song About Short people got No, no reason to live I was like whoa Yeah I'm kind of short Song is I remember hearing it I'm like holy shit Well again it's older comedy You so. got troubles We got them too <laughs> No but he says in the song They got Tiny little hands And shitty little teeth yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like fucked up You're like, like what the yo, fuck What the fuck dude, girl it's super mean This dude is like One day woke up He's like I'm just gonna write some. But I think Randy Newman people. has like crazy like awards. Hell yeah. That fucking you got a friend of me. I think he won an Oscar. You got a friend of me. Skippity dabby, skip boop, dabby. I, I love how we love Randy Newman, who sounds like a baby, but we hate all the people that we just said sing like babies. I know, I know. If Randy well, Newman did it first. Yeah, and also he sounds like a man baby if it helps. We've given Oh <laughs> we've got <laughs> Oh, it's hard to make a living, Mr. President. I put it on the working man. Yeah, he was nice though at writing. At writing, like hell yeah, bro. He was mad melodic. 
It's like Randy Newman, Michael McDonald. Yeah. You keep forgetting. You're not what is it it hard to say again? <laughs> Imagine Randy Newman saying that song. Dude, you should be Michael McDonald Michael McDonald for fucking uh, so Is it clear. McDonald or McDonald? Michael McDonald. McDonald, yeah. Michael McDonald. Every time and, near. and they use that song for uh living. Regulators. Yeah, regulators. Yeah. Regulators. It was a cold black night. Clear dark moon, some shit. Love that. Yeah, I don't know the whole. Is he the east song. side of the LBC? Mm-hmm. We let's let's face it. Nate Dogg would get on a chorus, and it was a rap. One that's of my all, biggest inspirations heard. of all time. Nate Dogg. Ah, oh, rest in peace. Smoke weed every day. So fucking. I could never time that. Smoke weed every just day. Thug, just thug melodies, dude. Hell yeah. That's basically that's how you sum up Nate Dogg. Thug melodies. Dude. He he was the absolute best. Rest in peace to Nate Dogg. How did he uh How did he pass away? Was it like a seizure? Uh, or something? Yeah, he was sick for a while. Um, I don't think it was cancer. I think he just uh, it might have been diabetes, maybe. Oh, uh, I I don't know. Yeah. Let me see. Rest in peace, Nate Dogg. Though how that wasn't even was it four years ago, five years ago? Now maybe he had a heart attack or something. I think he had a stroke. Yeah, oh, because yeah, I think stroke, he had a stroke yeah. before that, and then he had another stroke. Yeah, he was in the military too. Was he really? Holy shit! Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was a stroke. Oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. I always think about like strokes and aneurysms. Like, wow, cool. I could just like be a normal person living my day, and all of a sudden, just that's it, dude. I did that. Oh, snap. I, I I worried about that for about two months, where I was like, yo. um... I could just die like tomorrow. But then I spoke to somebody whose family member died like that. And they were like, yo, like it was the craziest shit. Yeah. And grandma had a stroke. I think two. She yeah. survived both of them. Yeah, she survived both of them. I think it was two. But either way, she survived. She survived. The strokes are fucking no joke, man. Yeah. Um, stroke, stroke, no joke. Stroke, no joke. But stroke, fucking no joke. Uh, also, I had to, I had to say because I saw it. I just want to say because you're because we were uh do we were talking about uh being recluse uh, oh, yeah, before yeah. recluse boys and I just wanted to say Danny hit me with something that was like really cool about Danny like Danny was just saying like I he gets cabin fever like he can't be in like he likes being home like like most people do that like being home bodies but he also said he's like a you know the hybrid where he has to also just like leave the house and be out which i i get to i mean i do honestly get that way sometimes but yeah getting out of my house is going to the lawn and shit but like that's why when the pandemic ha- happened this is what i was what we were saying before nobody's fucking built like me as soon as that just started happening i was like i'm good everyone was like you can't leave your house and i was just eating like fucking chips i'm like a word <laughs> I was like wow I've Dude, it was, been living it, this life It was six months Into the pandemic And Mike didn't even know What was happening Yeah I was just like Oh there's a pandemic He's like yeah I can't there's come to your birthday more. bro My bad It's like I got shit going on I was yeah, like dude It's like, a pandemic I'm yeah, in Florida He's yeah, like oh like, damn That's uh, crazy yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like Oh I would have totally showed up He's like yeah Danny <laughs> said something About pajamas I don't know I can't go to this. I was so pa- built in Panama right now Dude I was so built Not for the end of the world Though I'd be fucked like, oh, you're in Panama right now? No, it's a pandemic. Oh, shit. What? Do, you think, right. do you think you'd be built for the end of the world? Fuck no, dude. I'm diabetic and have anxiety and I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody yeah, would eat my fat. ass. You're I think if people are like, don't let me turn into one of them. When they're like, I don't want to turn into that. I'm like, dude, I want to turn into that. I'll just fucking walk around and eat shit. Yeah, fucking getting a free meal. The yeah. whole world. Imagine the whole world is a buffet. Squash. <laughs> I, I want to make know. noises like that, and I want to eat brains. Hell yeah. I would eat some fucking brains. Yeah, dude. I have an excuse to eat a human now. Would you ever be Would you be happy being half zom, half human? Uh, a zoomin? Yeah. A zombin? A, 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 a humby, a manby, a humby. <laughs> um, yeah, the way I not? laughed just sounded like. I always, I always say it's a great theme too. Yeah, oh, it was. Yeah, I, I, can I? All right, so like, can I dance and shit? Can I be like one of those fucking? Yeah, like you're there. Can but I be you, one of the thriller like you're shuckers? there, but like you crave flash. Yeah, so I could be like. Let me tell you something, yo. When Mike does that, clap, yo, that's one of the hardest fucking moves I've ever seen. You gotta have some snake like rhythm for that. Also, just that whole, that whole, 
When they do that shit too, I'm like, yo, that yeah, shit is that, so that's fire. That probably you know? goes down as that's probably the best, if not most famous choreography of all time. Dum dum. I guess, and you know who produced that? Yo, all right. So people were saying that D, this whole thing with DJ Cal, where fucking Fat Joe said that DJ Khaled is Quincy Jones. Oh yeah, chill. The getting people together part, maybe. Because yeah. he was like well, that guy that would get everyone on the. <gasps> we are the world, but like this guy produced like. When if we're talking about out. if you're comparing because of numbers and when shit, he's out of his out. fucking mind. This guy produced fucking Thriller, dude. Yeah. The best album probably of all time. Yeah. And he didn't have to get on the track and yell, we the best. No, no one even, I didn't even know he was this on is until the other thing I don't uh, understand about DJ Khaled's album too. It's like, yo, DJ Khaled, I'm like, oh, so you made the beats, but then I hear like, take Keith. I'm like, wait. He just gets everyone to get, you know what he is? He's an album block party, man. That's what he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was, that's what he did. I mean, he was like a he's DJ an organi- for He's for an organizer. He's a, yeah. yeah, he's produced, he's an organizer. Yeah. He organizes, he gets everybody on, and at this point, it's a fucking shtick, so everyone just says yes to him. And he doesn't eat pussy. Yeah, and he doesn't eat puss. What a weirdo. Yeah. Eat that puss, bro. Get out, your, get out of my fucking face. Yeah, he's like, nah, I'm not doing that. I bet you Quincy Jones ate nothing but puss. Quincy Jones ate so much box. Sorry, Rashida. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Sheets. <laughs> your dad ate box. <laughs> Do you know Sheets? Uh, I do not know Sheets. Oh, okay, I do not know. Sheets. I wish I knew Sheets. I had She's a cool big, as shit. I had a big crush on Rashida. She's cool Jones. as Sheets. I still have oh. a crush. I still have a crush on Rashida. Oh Jones. yeah, Rashida Jones. Uh, fucking Office Parks Rec. Fucking yeah. what else? N- numerous amounts of movies. Yeah. Uh, I love you, man. She's yes. A, she's a great wife in that movie too. Yeah. She. She. she I don't know. She always did something for me. Yeah. She's adorable. Yeah. And she's cute. just always plays a. She's always the same fucking person. Besides. Uh, that movie where Paul Rudd is like the shitty brother. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My other son or some shit. I don't what? know what it is. He's like uh, my other brother. Or but something. even then, she's still kind of the same person. But yeah. like, but like, yeah, she's she's great though. Always super adorable. Isn't there another Quincy Jones sister that's like? <gasps> isn't Nicole? No, no, that's Rashida uh, that's, Jones that's, is that's Lionel Richie's no, no. daughter. Rashida Jones, Sophia Richie's gorgeous too. But yeah. um, yeah. Uh, Rashida Jones's older sister dated Tupac. That's who oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What was her name again? I have no idea. Uh, it's uh, it's another R, I think. Quinchita Jones. No, it's not. Quin- <laughs> <laughs> That's a Quinchita. Such a great name. Quinchita for sure. That Dude, name is fire. Damn, I name my daughter Quinchita. I don't, no one has that. I'm gonna get a cat and name it Quinchita. <laughs> Quinchita's a sick ass name. Hell dude. yeah, dude. Better be like a safari cat. Have you seen those fucking big ass things? Yes. I yes. cannot have a safari cat like that in my house. That's the kind Did of you cat see that woman cool. get attacked by a bobcat? Yes, I think so. And yeah. the guy was just like, it's a bobcat. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like Mr. Garrison. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's like, yeah. move, I'm going to shoot it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did see that video. Yes, now I know what the fuck yeah. you're talking about. Imagine yes. you're just walking out to your car and all you hear is, wow. <laughs> yeah, crazy ass fucking <laughs> sounds, dude. But that was probably in fucking, I don't even know. Where. Actually, there are bobcats like in this area. Aren't yeah, there? yeah, 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 yeah. One of them got hit by a car over here in, in Hastings. God damn. That shit was growling like a motherfucker, bro. You want to know what's crazy is that our cats, like domestic cats, have the same lineage of, of a tiger. Yeah, domestic like dogs are just, they're done. They've already been too many breeds Yeah, that are just nutty and stuff. And like they've just been completely changed. But cats are fucking weird. Yeah, they're weird, bro. They're, they're the ki- so they're, scary sometimes. They're the kings and queens of the jungle. Which we're cat people. Like we had a cat for twenty years that we loved, and she was yeah, a bitch. Yeah, I can't say I'm a cat person. No, but we don't mind. Like you would keep a cat if it was like cute enough and nice enough and chill enough. Yeah, but for me to keep a cat, it would have to be like a story. Like I saved its life. Yeah, there has to be like some fucking. Uh, there's got to be some fucking. Uh, some fucking profoundness. Yeah, and he had a layer to it. And he would story. have to look up at me with like Disney teary eyes. Yeah, like you'd be Disney like Disney cartoon, ah. just like uh, you look like Amanda. I'll keep you. Yeah. If you look like a Charmander, I'll keep you. But <laughs> you wanna know what it was? It is uh I used to get we used to get cats, I would get close to them and then mom would give them away to like her Dominican friends. Yeah, mom always gave pets away after having them for like two months. <laughs> There was it was always something too. One like bit your fucking face as a dog. Yeah. And there was like another fucking dog. We were always just having dogs that were like g- being given away. Then we had a bunch of cats that were in the same litter, which we talked about. Uh-huh. They became like family cats. 
Yeah, man. We just always had a family that fucking had pets. I, it's weird that I don't have one now, and I was talking about it before. I don't know if I can do one, but I still want, I want one for we had, sure. We had one cat that didn't even live with Pop. us. We had, we had a cat that would just fucking live outside, come home for food, and leave. He was like, yeah. a, he was like uh, your older brother who yeah. like got in the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> and then he comes back every once in a while, like, come in. He's like, no, nah, I can't yeah, stay. Like, I need oh, five God, bucks. We miss you. Yeah. He's like, but I, can I f- borrow 10 bucks? Yeah. I'm just I, like, damn, dude. Yep. I thought you were going to play catch this time. <laughs> But we'd end up not doing it. Nope. Uh, but I will do right now, though. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up um, because um, I think it's been a great episode. Also, um, you know, uh, a part of me has to take a massive shit. And for some reason, I will say this. The last two or three days, my farts have been sensational. Dude, you don't need to explain to anybody to anybody. You take that shit, boy. No, 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 no. But you take that shit. Do you, have you ever had a shit where you shit? Yeah. <laughs> Almost every time. <laughs> have you ever had a shit where you shit and as soon as it comes out of your butthole, just a little bit of it, it stinks so fucking Dude, before bad. it comes out of my stomach, I know this is going to be a rank, ranker. Oh, my God. It's going to be up in the upper echelon of shit. For some reason, I was doing this bit in the apartment today where I was going around farting on all of our household plants. Nice. And um, so I kept farting on the plants. And um, for me, I didn't realize how stinky the farts were. As soon as it left my ass, it was instant how stinky it is. A lot of times you could fart and it takes a little while for it to get, like, you know, real stinky. But... um. This was immediate as soon as it broke my ass barrier. Right. It, bro- it broke Everyone the has barrier. the family member who is the is the most fucking goddamn notorious. And in our family, one, two, three, Kiana. <laughs> our sister Kiana has notorious farts. Our older sister had the most notorious fucking S H I T S. Uh as far as as far as fucking farts went. And I know it's tough because she's like a lady. But it was gross. I'll actually fucking tell a story once. We were at we were at Christmas and uh, we used to do a lot of Christmas dinners at uh, our sister Kiana's house, and we were all sitting there and opening gifts and shit like that. And uh, fucking dude, it was like it was like a poisonous like a terrorist bomb attack went off or something because we were literally all just sitting there and everyone's like oh oh god what's happening what's happening and like everyone turns around and our sister's just dying laughing and we're like <laughs> we we all tell our sister laugh. guys we would all smell it and turn around and look at kiana and we she would just be like what we're like kiana that's your ass yeah everyone knows it and i'm pretty sure one of my fucking uh wrapped wrapped fucking gifts unraveled itself because of her ass <laughs> Just unfucking, it just unraveled itself. Can we talk about how much, how wasteful wrapping paper is? It's so stupid. Wrapping just paper is so somewhere, dumb. Put just it somewhere get, and then fucking show it. You want to know what else you could do? Put it in a bag. It takes just as but, much time to open it. But there are people who really love the art of wrapping a gift. And I understand, but like, it's so, it's a stupid pro- process. It's a stupid concept. I get it. It's like, oh, it's hidden. What's the surprise? The whole fucking day is a surprise. Bring it out of the room, and I'm going to go, oh, shit, either way, if I really want it. Imagine unwrap- unraveling a gift, and it's the opposite of what the fuck you want. You had to go through all that work with your fingers. Yeah, and, and it turns out you don't even get Amanda in it. Yeah, it turns out it's not even a fucking Amanda. Jesus. No, uh, the other thing, too, was... Um, Shout out to Kiana. Come on the show. Yeah, c- come fart on the show. Was it was it fart or was her poop? Her poops were gross. No, it was her farts. Were her, it was deadly. her her poops were gross. Her farts were gross. I, oh, I wanted to ask you a question. Like, what did you eat a dead rat every day? Yeah, let me ask you a question. Did you ever pee on Dad's poop? Oh, if I saw Dad's poop and I was lazy and I was drunk, I'm shredding Dad's poop with my. Oh hands. yeah, it's a bit, dude. There's sometimes when people come peeing on your, your it's Dad's your, poop is amazing. It's your fa- <laughs> it's your family's poop. Who cares? You know what I mean? I love pissing on family I, There poop. are days where you le- want to lean over, but there are days where I was tired. I'm like, I'm just going to shred my dad's poop that he forgot to flush. Oh, dude. Let me tell you something, though. If you broke open one of dad's poops with your pee. Lots oh, of fucking lasagna. Lots man. of fucking lasagna bits. How you doing in there? I'll tell you, that guy had some old, old Great Depression. It was, it was almost like dissecting poop in biology class for an owl. And you find like rat bones. That's the craziest. How did bones get in there? Yeah. 
<laughs> this this is the type of stuff I think about though. Like every every year of my birthday, I go, dude, I've been taking shits for thirty three years. Dude, we I've been annihilating my anus for so long. Just our buttholes had just been opening. People were like, would you ever do anal? Years. I've been like, I, I've been harassing my anus for years. I don't know how my asshole hasn't called the police on me once. Huge question for you. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Okay. Um, you're married, right? Say for like ten years. I was like, am I? All right. You're married, right? You have kids, right? Everything's cool, right? Your wife comes to you. She goes, listen, I got into something on the internet. I was using ExpressVPN. I didn't want people to see it. Nice. Nicely uh, done. Nice, thank you. Um, I want to peg you. I don't, even know what, I don't even know what that is. That's when she would put on a, a, a strapezius and, right. and darf your BH. No, because I don't need, I don't long for that. For that sensation, sensation. No, the closest I ever got to that is when I'm just cleaning my a hole. Also, also, guys, clean your a holes, man. Yeah, I have a very people probably wouldn't fucking, think this. They probably would do something on it. if it bothers a, you that much. But you jerk your own dick off every day. You can't put your finger in your fucking butt to clean that ass. Yeah, get rid of your schmeg and then. And, your I'm, butt not, and I'm not saying you know fucking finger your ass. But you might honestly, your ass is probably so dirty. You might need to fucking do a full fucking goddamn interscope records. No, no, what but I do, you might as well fucking goddamn just. You know, clean your fucking ass. What I get do, around it if you can. What I do is I put the tip of my finger in my anus. Right. And I just go. Listen, I'm telling you right now. After I clean my butthole and I get head from somebody with permission, of course, I'm going all out like this. Give me some head. You know why? Because my butthole is clean as the goddamn day I was born. What about get your BH licked? Are you cool with that? No, I'm not into any of that stuff. Damn, no. dude. No, there's nothing. I don't have any problem with people that do. I just I don't care about that stuff. What if she was like, I just want to go beep. No, I'm very vanilla, dude. I don't care. I like. I just want to. I just want to have sex. It doesn't have to be just mish, but like you know, permission. You're down the mish with permissionary. You, yeah. yeah. Um, no, it doesn't have to be just. No, it could be way more than mish. Like certain positions you just make love are like hot. A, you just make love like a savage missionary yeah, animal. Yeah. Eat, eat out. You know, get a little bit of head. Do that. Do you eat butt? Uh. Yeah, I, I mean, like, no, actually, no, I'm not big into that. No, you better go in the fucking goddamn shower. And also, like, here's the thing. At least get some water on that tish. You know what I mean? I'll probably do it. I have. I've, 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 I've dabbed with my tongue once or twice. I've dabbled. But unless you're using the fucking same fucking hose that firemen have to clean that ass, I'm not getting... Listen... You come home after a long day and we're BH fucking with varied. each other and you and you automatically think I'm going to lick that long day butthole? You're out of your fucking mind. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Fucking Amanda? I wouldn't even lick Amanda's asshole. I'm not. I'm just not into beat. Dude, that's where poop comes from, bro. Yeah, but then you could think the same thing about our peepees going in their mouthies. Yeah, but at the same time, I didn't just peepee and also peepee is a lot more acceptable than poopy. Yeah. Let me ask you something, mm -hmm. right? The devil, the devil goes. I'm gonna kill your family, but uh, unless you let me pee pee or poo poo in your mouth, which one are you choosing? Uh, probably the pee pee. Yeah, and by probably you mean only the pee pee because yeah, you're not yeah. taking poop. Yeah, yeah, a full truckload of Satan's poop in your mouth. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna let Satan pee on me. Yeah. Even if Satan's ass. Never eating a hot gummy bear again, guys. Just wanted to just wanted to let that out there before we end the show. Yeah, that went straight to your asshole. You poor little fucking slut. <laughs> Slut yourself out for yeah, these people. Yeah, worst experience ever. And the next day, I found out Harley from uh, Epic Meal Time. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, is that Harley show? Harley's the man. Shout to Harley. Harley's the fucking man. Yeah, uh, he's probably gonna be like, "You don't know the name of my show, but I'm the man." Um, did <laughs> ten million Scoville. Yeah, he, he put had, up the he next had a hard day. Time. Yeah, and he even posted afterwards. He goes, "I didn't mean to sound. I don't want to sound like a bitch either." But guys, I thought I got shot in my fucking chest. Yeah, that was a bad one. Terrible heartburn. Terrible that was terrible. Burn. That was terrible. And uh, listen, it was all for the patrons. Uh, and let's go ahead and read. Shout out to the patrons. Let's go Shout ahead. Shout out to the patrons. And uh, talk to our Patronus. beautiful Patronus sexual Magdalonis. Patreon people. Patronus um, Magdalonius. What would your Harry Potter spell be? Harriest Dickiest. <laughs> Manscaped. Um, <laughs> yeah, mine would be just like. Uh, what would yours be? Don Petronius. Aeneas Gapius. <laughs> Don is <laughs> I would just gape people's buttholes. <laughs> I, would just, I would just make people's buttholes expand. That's what I would do. Anyway, uh, let's uh, get to our Lop Nation CEOs and CFOs. Uh, Arrow is my middle name. Allison Meta, Annie Alamad. Anthony, Anthony Mavado, Bethany Sykes. While you do that, I'm going to crush a can with Brittany, my ass. Oh, yeah. Crush a can with your butthole. Uh, Brittany, Daniel Lopriori, Debbie Rubble. Estella Escobar, J. 
Jacqueline Himberger, Joseph Arsenault, Josh Diaz, Marvel Malang. My name is actually, holy shit, it went through. It went in the bag. Uh, my name is actually Jeff. Nicole Derlu, that was amazing. Nicholas Nielsen, News to My Dad, Ryan Blake, Sean Silcox, Spencer Purdue, Tariq Judah, the Cucumbersome, The Real Pachu, Puerto Rico Pikachu, This, V Shell, My Bell, Tim, Turbo Chubbs, AB, Aaron, Adam Wright, Ashley Sparcino, Auto Fire, Brianna Palumbo, Carmen, Julia, Louie, Fisher, Dreyfus, Fisher, Cypher Rage, Colin, The Lost, Lopriori Anderson, Corbin, Dean Rowdy, Diasha Napier, Derek Frazow, Diggs, Double Dose, Danny Barnes. Love that. Haley G. Money, Hard, Harry Hard Pants from Australia, Hayden Hoskins, Herman. This is Boo, by the way, my parents' dog. I love you, Pedro. Jade Hubble, Jody Ordonza, John Kaminskis. Yo, know, these people are awesome. Uh, Jordan Montano, Linda from Accounting, Liz Zanamani. Moises Sandoval, Nama, stay in bed. I see what you did there. No English, lol. Okay. Olivia Zapata, Pico, Newton, John, Riders of Rohan, Rubus Cubis, Sarik Martin, Sheila Viejo, Sydney Merrifield, Trevor Joyner, and Vanessa Pineda. We love you. If you want love to be you guys. on the show, go to patreon.com. Join the Patreon. Sign up for the $25 or $50 tier. Um, also, five. <laughs> 10, 25, 50. Everyone can ask questions. Next week, we'll be answering Patreon questions on the show. Love you guys. Mike, where can they find you on the internet? Twitch.tv slash Michael underscore Lopriori. You can find me at Dana Lopriori pretty much anywhere the social media takes you. And we want to thank you. Love and you guys. shout out to everyone. Peace. Deuces. And love.